Happy holidays, everyone, and welcome to a special one-shot game here on Saving Throw Show called Is It Christmas Yet? Thank know, you so much it? for... What was that? I said, I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> Combining the worlds of Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and the deepest lore that there is, Christmas. Oh. There's the biggest Christmas fandom and lots of big cosplay community uh, within the Christmas fandom, so we're combining all three. I'm your dungeon master, or perhaps more realistically, your Chris master. Yeah. Ah? I don't know. Ah? Ruben Bressler. Uh, and today, our players are going to be playing uh, goblins from the Is It League uh, from Ravnica the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica book, of course, um, that I do the uh, the Broken Pact that also Garav and Ashlyn are on. Um, it is the official Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica show on D&D Twitch. But today, they're playing Is It Goblins themselves as well as the remainder of our cast. Um, and so, please introduce yourselves, and I want your, your name, uh, your class, and your subclass, uh -huh. and something that you, as a player, have always wanted for Christmas. So who wants to go first? Oh, God. I gotta think about that. I gotta think about that. I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Garav, and I'm playing uh, Dr. Minstix. Uh, he's a cleric, a level three goblin, and um, he's uh, known to have bouts of rage, uh, but he's also very friendly. If you're uh, you know, doing an experiment with him, he's pretty friendly about it, unless you get it wrong, in which case, in the bouts of rage. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's something I've always wanted for Christmas. Sure. Or the uh, doctor. What, what do you prefer, the question? That your character or that you? Uh, <laughs> me, because I don't know much about this character. Okay, great. <laughs> what have you always wanted for Christmas? Just invented. Um, I've, always, I've always wanted... Uh, uh, the Lego store has this like exclusive, like gigantic uh, Star Destroyer. That's like so many pieces. Actually, this sure. is at least a Millennium Falcon. That's like eight thousand pieces. Yeah, oh, yeah. and costs eight hundred dollars. Right. Yeah. But oh man, like I loved Legos when I was a kid, and I still do. But they're just so expensive. So like, I would just love having one of those now. Cool. So Doctor Doctor Minst Minsticks. Um, Minsticks. Min min yes. Min Pass me a pen. Doctor Doctor Minsticks. Yes. I don't know anything about these characters, so I gotta write all this down. Oh, you'll know. Doctor <laughs> Minstix, so and what's your class? I'm class? a cleric of the trickery domain. Trickery Ooh. cleric. All right. Thanks for the bits, PA Perryman. Oh yeah, thank oh, you for the bits. PA Perryman. Oh. Hey. 666 bits, bits, wrong season, sir. All right, who, who wants to go next? Christmas is a pagan in the, holiday. That's true, it is a bit of a pagan in, holiday. The Happy Festivus for uh, the rest of us. Yeah, exactly. yeah that's what I'm talking yeah. about. I'll go next. Okay. Uh, I'm Lady Danger, uh, and I'm playing Litsmit Fury, who's a level the goblin, a Storm Herald barbarian. And for nice. Christmas, she's always want a, wanted a sentient weapon. Oh, okay. Oh, so a sentient weapon. We'll see if we can make that Christmas dream come true before the end of this. A sentient she, weapon is a lot of responsibility. I don't know if you're up to taking care of those. She's got big ears. She can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> and so she's um, bigger than your average, like most average goblins. She's a little bit bigger, but that's because she's had te like she's had tested tests run on her like oh, her whole entire okay. life. Wow. So that's why she's the little. Okay. I'm kilter. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the raid, you mad unmade gaming. Oh. Uh, thank you so much for showing up. Yeah, We're just right. doing intros here for Is It Christmas yeah, Yet? Shields up. Um, <laughs> we've, we've met Dr. Minstix, the trickery cleric, uh, and then the Storm Herald Barbarian, Litsmit. She goes by Lit for short. Lit. 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 It's Lit. 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 Yeah. It's Lit. lit. Yeah. It's <laughs> Lit, Mitt. It's Lit. lit. <laughs> Oh. Thank, be, be care. Thank you for the. Thank thank you for the, for the, for the yes, is there a tip associated with that one or a toast? That's a fifteen dollars. The uh, we'll get to the announcements on that. So who's next? I can go next. Hi everyone. I'm Ashlyn Rose, and I am playing a goblin rogue named Chris Twizix. And uh, she's a, is it the thievery? Masters of Thieves? You're a thief. I am yeah. a thief. I steal things and like shiny things. I also have a fake eye due to experiments as well. And it, it's this one if you didn't get it. Powers 209, thank you for the bits. Nice. Thank you for the bits. And uh, did, did yeah, what did you oh, want for Christmas? Christmas, she has always wanted a Drake. A Drake? A Drake. Okay, so you want like. <laughs> yes. Like her own Drake to ride. Okay. 
Does does it also sing? Like, <laughs> is it Hotline Drake? <laughs> <laughs> that would be even better. Yes, Hotline hot Drake. Hotline hot Drake. Drake. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, I will go. Uh, my name's Eric, and uh, I am playing Snotball, the druid, uh, Circle of the Spores, uh, goblin. And uh, I think uh, Snotball has always wanted um, is a riding spider, like a spider that he could put a, a saddle on and just ride around. Because he can turn into a spider, and he likes spiders, but he's never been able to ride a spider. <laughs> cool. I love it. All right. Uh, hi, I'm Poizel. Uh, I will be playing a Fizzle. A, uh, a Fizzle is Magnus, a uh, goblin wizard uh, of the Abjuration uh, so, uh, School of Magic. Uh, I call them protection and counter spells. Uh, I think Fizzle has always wanted the the recognition of their their genius, especially from from the great and mighty Niv Mizzet, the the head of the Izzet League. To, to to receive the approval of said dragon would be all that my little goblin heart could desire. Perfect. Love it. <laughs> all right. So, folks, uh, we have a couple of announcements to get through before we, we do too much. Um, the first thing I want to say is, is do all the show announcements, then we'll get to the uh, player announcements. I, I as, as doing the Broken Pact, which is a D&D show, I've never done the do stuff in the oh, middle. Yeah. Like, for example, thank Crude Imposter, oh. Nightbright, for their bits. Thank you so much. Um, uh, I, I haven't done that before, so this is a bit of a new experiment for me. Doing so it live, yeah. Oh, yeah. Doing it live, exactly right. So I've got yeah. a bunch of announcements. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to do my best worst uh, Jordan Cave's Calorman impression at the beginning of these, so that's that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Okay. So I'm, I'm new to the whole giveaway thing, but uh, before we get started, I want to say hello and thank you to you, the secret Santas in chat, who um, uh, we wanted to let you know that Saving Throw Show is an independent channel, uh, and that Dom, benevolent, benevolent overlord and spirit of the season Dom Zook, uh, runs everything uh, out of this place. I can't and see you waving. That's true, they can't see you waving. He's waving. That's okay. Turn the camera all the way around to, okay. Um, <laughs> and that this job becomes possible because of the giving spirit uh, and the holiday giving of people like you. So uh, it literally keeps the lights on um, here in the building. And I usually don't run games like this because there's a little bit of a different situation going on with the Broken Pact. But most of the games, such as the ones that Poisel runs and all of the other stuff that's on this channel, um, you know, it's uh, it's always sunny in Barovia and all of the all of the various cloudy. channels. It's um, always it's always cloudy in Barovia. Yeah. I thought it was yes. sunny. No, it can't oh. be sunny. It's impossible. It's, it's always cloudy in Barovia. Impossible. Apologies. At this point, I can only apologize. Um, so there are tips and tiers. Asterok with a fifteen dollar tip. That's going to be great. Uh, which oh. means that we've already unlocked Castles the first and, chemo. and castles and chemo. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah. So Good we've unlocked you. the first couple of tiers, which I'll get to. Uh, once once we get through the announcements here. So if you're enjoying what you're seeing and you're having a good time uh, and you, we want to continue this and we want to support Saving Throw Show and all of the wonderful new shows and products that we're going to be coming out over the next year. I think Dom tweeted out that there's like 30 shows that are going to be uh, of different of like different lengths of various kinds next year. Hot this is a damn. it is a cottage industry, and we really uh, appreciate your support. So if you support the new things and the new shows and the new experiences, um, please. Consider tipping during the show. It means a lot to us. Um, and as a fun side effect, all of the tips given during the show go, go towards unlocking special reward tiers um, that you can see if you type exclamation mark unlocks in the chat um, and follow the link to the reward document. And if you want a link to the tips, use exclamation mark tips. Additionally, if you sub, resub, or gift a sub, tis the season, definitely want to be gifting those subs. Um, then you can choose to have uh, me give, well, we normally give reroll coins, but I have this bag of spice drops that are little jelly candies. And uh, you can have, and I'll give a spice drop 
to a player, and they can consume the spice drop to re-roll any die. Oh, I thought you were going to uh, make us toss them into your mouth. You can do that too. <laughs> if you want to, do, you want to do that instead. You can. They can either that. toss them into my mouth <laughs> or, or consume them. <laughs> That's any die. So any d20 or damage die, or if you cast sleep and want to re-roll one of your d6s or whatever those are. I brought chocolate uh, so to the table Any too. die. No shenanigans. You can just eat it. Any yes. die they can re-roll with that. We also have toasts available, which is why you see all of the fifteen dollar donations in chat, which you can buy with. Gold from the chat, uh, just sort of by hanging out in the chat, um, or by donating fifteen dollars per Christmas cheer. And when you do the Christmas cheer, um, which I have my delicious glass of port here, uh, I bought myself a bottle of port. You guys are welcome to share this back here. If you guys want any port, I have some port wine, um, and we will be reading those. Uh, on air sporadically throughout the program. Um, just be sure to note that it is a toast in your donation form. Thank you so much for your support. And remember, when you use Bits to Cheer on any channel on Twitch with the hashtag charity, uh, or you use the custom charity cheer mode, Twitch is gonna donate 20 cents for every 100 bits used to Direct Relief, which is a lovely little human, uh, human, humanitarian aid organization with a mission to improve the health and lives of people affected by poverty or emergencies. You'll also unlock a custom charity chat badge. And of course, we appreciate those bits as well. Mm -hmm. um, it is a holiday season. Don't fill up too much, guys, because I have player announcements as well. Can I do them with a mouthful of chocolate? You can, okay. but oh, you oh, may oh. not want to. <laughs> Ready? Because listen, here, here are the rules. Oh, rules? Normal D&D <laughs> is in effect. Mm -hmm. But anything from a holiday movie or song or show or piece of popular culture trivia, Smokebeard, thank you for the donation. Much hey, appreciated. Thank you, oh, Smokebeard. Smokebeard. Anything that's Christmas related in the zeitgeist, anything mm -hmm. or holiday related exists. Okay. Okay? So if you ask me, uh, is there a stocking hanging by the fireplace? Or is the bad guy wearing an ugly Christmas sweater? Uh, within reason, um, that will probably happen. You guys okay. know that I'm a DM that likes to say yes. Okay. So we'll figure out how to make it happen. Okay. Uh, be creative with your holiday themed solutions. Uh, I have... Oh, you've given me so much power. Dreidels. <laughs> hey, dreidels. If you roll a dreidel as a I D4, I only brought I only bought a packet of four, so Wait, you guys are going to have to... You brought one? Yeah. Perfect. We'll so there's one, and there's one down there. There you go. Thank you. Here you go. If you roll a dreidel as a D4, uh, the gimel... Really do you guys know what the gimel is? Th this one's the gimel. The, the gimel, uh, okay. it, it has the little tail on the end of it. Uh, that one's okay. So roll it, and then I'll tell you what it is. The gimel is the four. <laughs> the gimel is the four. The hay is the three. The nun is the two, and the shin is the one. Okay. For those of you that aren't Jewish like I am out there, we'll then we'll figure it out. We'll do it live. We'll do I'll tell you what you get. If you want to roll a d4 and you roll with a dreidel, nice, excellent. Um, you can invent devices, and you can say, "I happen to have X." on me. However, they have to have specifically is it names. So you need techno babble, you need ridiculous, absurd names mm -hmm. for all of your devices if you want to solve a problem with a little mechanical or m m something device. And the last law, this is the most important one, you eat what you kill. Okay. That seems a little dark for Christmas, man. <laughs> but all right. Well, everybody, everybody on board? Yeah. 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 All right. We'll be cannibals, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's get started. We're not killing goblins. Right. Well. Let's we get don't started. Know. We don't know. With <laughs> is it Christmas yet? But before we do, <laughs> we have to. Uh, I want to thank the uh, Secret Santas in chat for unlocking White Elephant Party. The Ghost of Christmas Presents, and Cold Medicine already, which we will get to as the story unfolds. And I also want to thank a couple of folks with toast. So the way that we do toasts here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much to the Posh Panda for the resub. 14 months. Well done. Thank you so much. Uh, tell us who you want to have the reroll go to as well. So we have a couple of toasts here. The way it's going to work is I'm going to read out the name and what they say, and then we all repeat 
Thank you so much to Bondo for the twenty dollars. Bondo. Wow. Um, so the way it's gonna work, just follow follow Garov's lead, and we'll just and Poisel knows how to do this too, I think, and you probably know how to do this as well. <laughs> All right, ready? BSB Care says, Julio Noel et bon ane. Joyeux Noel et bon ane. Cheers. Happy holidays. Cheers. Which is French, and I hope I didn't get it right. Asterok would like us to toast. Man, I wish Jordan Pridgen was here. He's great. <laughs> Man, Man, I, I wish, wish Jordan Pridgen was here. He's, He's great. great. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. We're going to get so drunk. Thanks for joining us. He's all right. Castles and Chemo would like to toast. Huzzah! Glory to the fire mind! <laughs> Huzzah! Huzzah! Glory, glory to, to the, the fire mind! Merry Christmas. Every time. Every time. Every time. And Bondo. Before we get to that, Harun Harel. Harkel. Harun Harkel. Thank Welcome you for the sub. Harun. Thank you, sub. Bondo would like to toast. Gifts of time and love are surely the basic ingredients of a truly Merry Christmas. Gifts, Gifts of, of time and love are surely the, the basic ingredients of a truly Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry, Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Flawless. Yes. And in addition to White Elephant Party, the Ghost of Christmas Presents, Cold Medicine, we've also unlocked the Nutcracker. <laughs> and we will see those as we proceed. But for now, let's get started with the story. There are so many hit points. <laughs> barbarian, <laughs> wizard, barbarian. All right. <laughs> Hi there, children. Today, we're reading Is It the Night Before Christmas? It's a little story about how five little goblins saved Christmas. I sure hope you like it. My name is Arthur. I like to tell stories. And I'd like to share this one with you. So find a cozy place by the fire and sit a spell, or a couple of spells, mm. <laughs> as the case may be. And let's begin. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the towers, all the goblins were working and testing their powers. The plan was laid out on the blackboard with care in the hopes the chief scientist would soon be there. You are all goblins. Not just any goblins, though. You are from the Is It Guild. Keen intellects, unrestrained enthusiasm for research and experimentation, short attention spans, and recklessness. And you are in a laboratory alone, together, the five of you. Uh, please describe and introduce yourselves to the audience and to each other. All right, uh, well, Fizzle is... Uh is short for a goblin, uh, shorter, uh, very small of build, very very slender, uh, has uh, oh, no no hair, they have no hair at all, um, but uh, but a lot of burn marks across their face, big goggles on their head, and they uh, they kind of uh, tinker around with, with magic here. The, they, uh, unlike a lot of others, actually enjoy books and, and seem, to be, uh, seem to be currently reading and taking notes. On, uh, on some sort of thing. Oh, hey, they're my goggles. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yes, yes. Those are perfect. Excellent. And Fizzle is in the laboratory, um, sort of uh, hands behind their back, sort of looking at the blackboards, walking around the room very intently. Anyone else? I'm not smart. I found a lot. I'm drawing a lot. I have um, a big ponytail of green hair. You don't know how it got there. It's not supposed to be there, but it's there. <laughs> uh, big, giant green ears. She's got um, odd tattoos all over her from uh, all the experiments that have been done on her that have been noted, so they don't have to go through all the paperwork. They can just look. Mm. Um, she's Like I said, she's a little off kilter. Um, sometimes you can't understand what she's saying. <laughs> and then she's just gonna do it. Uh, and she actually has a habit of hitting the people around her from the experiments. Oh no. So, 
you know, you'll have to forgive her. She tries her best. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Um, Dr. Minstix is, uh, in front of a, a large table with a bunch of, uh, beakers, flasks, and all sorts of other liquids, and he is going through and making something, some sort of potion. Um, he's, uh, known to do a lot of alchemy around the, around the labs. And, uh, you see him kind of smelling some liquids and, ah, ah, mm, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, it's, he's actually just making some apple cider. He's not actually mm. making any sort of explosion juice cool but uh, his apple cider is known to give explosion juice in your belly sure yeah. and you see uh the doctor over there uh tinkering with a little bit of alchemy as lit is trying to peek over their shoulders and f clue into what exactly is going on mm. uh do you have any like description di uh, oh, differences yeah. that are unique uh he is wearing a, a long lab coat one that was made for a human clearly so it, like mm. is behind him. nice it's one that he's like stolen like they don't wear sure. lab coats in the in like the is it uh league but yeah. he has found this one that he stole from somebody and he very proudly wears it I uh mean, so there's like burn trailers like all behind it uh it's quite fetching i like it i know i know yeah. everybody wants my lab coat <laughs> That's a tuttle. no Art. The posh panda, by the way, is going to send their reroll to the table. So um, I don't know if I want to put this spice drop on the table. That table's real clean. I'm going to take the lid to my dice here, and we'll put the spice oh, drop. Like that's clean. Thank you. <laughs> uh, next in line. All right. My name is Chris Twizzix, and I am a real goblin. I like really shiny things, and I'm easily dis. Directed and I I have a pretty shiny blue eye. Oh, and I'm probably looking around for like shiny things in the lab. Okay. So you see you see uh Kriz sort of darting around the room. You do see the, the blue eye. It's not that it's an eye that's blue. She doesn't have two different colored eyes. She has a normal eye, and then she has a blue eye. An eye that is entirely one color. Snotball is, uh, he's wearing very simple clothing, uh, and the most immediate thing you'll see about him is that his arm has various different bug bites uh, in strategic points to test the how, how the, his skin will react to the various bugs that have bitten him. And you can see that clearly on one arm, and you can see, like, various parts of his body have, like, semi-states of, like, healed over, like, mm. animal bites of certain wow. types. Wow. Love it. Yeah. That's great. Yes. <laughs> He's our test dummy. <laughs> and you see him sort of just like walking around the room, scratching his arm a little it bit. It itches a lot. <laughs> so you are all in this same room together. It is winter time in Ravnica. Snowflakes fall peacefully, gathering on window panes. You guys are nice and warm and cozy inside here in your place of work. This is a place that you guys are very familiar with. Uh, the street sweepers down below have had their plows attached. Uh, the folks maybe 10 stories, 15 stories away are huddled up in their coats hiding underneath the sky bridges and the floating islands. Here in Izzet territory, the scorch bringers have pointed their torches downward to melt the ice around Nivix, the Izzet Guild Hall, where you all work, which is located smack dab in the middle of Precinct 4 in the 10th district. More specifically, right now, you are in the Laboratory of Orientation. The Izzet Labs across Ravnica are dedicated to specific research, and the Laboratory of Orientation deals with the study of teleportation and spatial recombination. As a result, this lab is currently on, the, on a high floor in Nivix, but being the office that studies teleportation, tends to appear and disappear at different locations at random. The walls are chalkboards covered in equations with one door in, and thank you to A East 236 for your sub. Thank you so much. With one door in leading to a main hallway and another door leading to an outer platform. Both of these doors are flanked by big suits of Mizium armor that are clamped to the walls. Uh, as it is the holiday season, the staff has decorated the armor with tinsel and Santa hats and uh, ugly sweaters. They've decked the halls with boughs of holly, 
and a sprig of mistletoe hangs from the entryway. This room is uh, octagonal, almost cylindrical in nature. Uh, lights blink magic. Hold on. There we go. Lights blink magically uh, on the walls, and a large silver circle etched in the center of the floor is the main focus of the room. There's a huge brass diorama hanging from the ceiling with dozens of brass orbs at various points on huge cylindrical circular rings that get smaller as they rise, almost like ornaments and rings of tinsel hanging from an invisible tree. You also see a pile of gifts in one corner. Can we get a shot of the pile of gifts? Actual, actual, honest to goodness Christmas gifts that I've prepared for this game. This is going to be tons of fun for our players as we get to it. You see a pile of gifts. I, I don't know if I'm excited or if I'm scared. Right? I think it's both. I think, I think it, it's I, both. I think that's the correct response. <laughs> um, on a ladder in the middle of the room, in addition to the five of you, there is a fifth person. Uh, on a ladder, there is a loxodon wearing a face shield with a welding torch and tongs in two hands, taking notes as he messes with one of the globes attached to the uh, orbital rings. Uh, as you guys start to, to move around the room, he lifts his masks and says, Oh, visitors! Don't mind me, I'm just working on this darn contraption. Oh, fiddlesticks, as he drops his tongs to the floor. Because, thanks to the Secret Santas in chat, we unlocked White Elephant Party, <laughs> which brings in my awful Jeremy Crawford impression mm -hmm. uh, as oh Edu, the Is It Loxodon from the Acquisitions Incorporated game, um, who was in the most recent packs. Mm -hmm. But do keep your hands off the merchandise if you want to keep them. I mean, that's rule number one in the Is It League, I think. Wait, which merchandise? I know a lot of people about that. Luckily, you're all very short, so you won't be touching the rings. Hey, where you calling short? <laughs> yeah, I could get up there if I wanted. Everyone's short when I'm you're on a ladder. It's tough about my thoughts. <laughs> well, I am actually short, but it's okay. I don't like being called short, though. I apologize. It's not very, it's not very nice. At this moment... Your apology is accepted. At this moment, uh, the door will open. All right, everyone, time to get to business. And uh, uh, a familiar female goblin enters the room to you all. And you all sort of line up and get ready to have a meeting, the half dozen of you. The assistants were lined up, all packed in like sardines, while their dreams of promotions Word like machines. And Dax Iver, in her smock, her museum apparatus and cap, had just walked in and unrolled a map. The five of you have been summoned by the office of Professor Dax Iver, a figure of some renown, especially in Is It Circles. She was the very first woman goblin hired by the prestigious Prism University as a full-time teacher but recently ended her tenure there after simultaneously quitting and being fired. Now the, prodig the prodigal daughter has returned to her roots in the Is It League, heading up her own departments and projects with the freedom and aplomb befitting a woman of her stature. Greetings, I'm very excited you have all shown up. Oh, Edu, hello. Hello, Dax, it's very good to see you. Thank you, Edu. Would you mind giving us the room for just a second? Of course, Director. Merry Christmas. Just be sure to don't touch the don't. Oh, they got it. And the Loxodon will gingerly climb down the ladder and <laughs> stomp out of the the office. So we're not supposed to touch the brass balls, right? Well, okay. I'm just making sure because he said this a lot, like don't touch this. But it was like, do I not touch the rings or not touch Mom the balls? Mom doesn't like the fondling of the balls. I can't just don't touch it. Don't fondle the balls. You heard her. <laughs> Harun uh, Harkel sends their re-roll to Chris. <gasps> ah, yay. Thank you. <clears throat> 
So you're all lined up in front. Uh, Professor Daxiver uh, is in front of you. Old female goblin, also has goggles on her head, has a um, metal apparatus on her arm that's connected by tubing to a backpack, essentially. Um, she has a, a, a jar in one of her hands that looks like it's got two or three uh, pickled onions in it. Um, and she just sort of places that in her back pocket. Welcome, recruits! Glad you all came. You've been brought here for a very important reason. 480 years ago, a powerful mage, powerful mage, who goes by many names, Chris Kringle, St. Nicholas, Father Christmas, I knew him as Santa Claus, defeated a demon in a neighborhood called the North Pole, up in the Utvaro Wastes. Here, you can see it. You can see it on the map right here. And she'll point to the map that she's unrolled. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right there. And you can also take a look at it through the Spectral Kaleido Telescope. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Um, and there is a, a, you know, Dr. Seuss style, uh, lots of mirrors uh, telescope uh, that she points at if anybody wants to go take a look. I'll run over um, to it. Sure. Um, you don't have to make a roll. You can look through the telescope. Actually, yeah. probably to know where to point it. Um, I just start pointing it everywhere. Okay. Well, eventually you zero in on what looks like a massive hundred foot tall candy cane uh, to the north of the 10th district of Ravnica out in the Utvara wastes. Pretty. It's famous for a huge lightning rod in the town square that powers the town and for which it's got its name. So Santa is a jolly old elf who employs much of the town in making toys and would once a year deliver some of those toys to good little girls and good little boys of Ravnica. He was able to do this with the use of many amazing magical items and devices and relics, of which one was a piece of parchment called the list. The list is a powerful and wondrous item that has all of the names of all of the girls and boys in all of Ravnica, and some say even beyond. That's very powerful. That's an invasion of privacy. I don't know. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> the list also allows him to organize the naughty and nice children, but most importantly, all of the beings whose names appear on the list never leave, which means it's an ancient record of all beings, both mortal and divine and otherwise. Now, Santa Claus, much like Jace Bellerin, goes missing entirely from Ravnica from time to time, and he hasn't actually been seen for a little while. He does this a lot of the time. He goes on vacation. Guildmaster Raoul Zarek is theoretically keeping tabs on him using the Project Lightning Bug, but unfortunately, the demon that he defeated 480 years ago has returned. What? And it seems he's returned to the North Pole and retaken control of the list with the help of an unknown guild ally. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to recover the list, defeat the demon and whatever guild is helping him, and save Christmas. It's dangerous, of course, so the League will be providing you with help because the Secret Santas in chat were nice enough to unlock the Ghost of Christmas Presents. So Dax Iver presents the party with five wrapped gifts. Thanks to uh, thanks to you all out there. Um, let's see here. Let's, you ever notice how for they lit? say it, if you choose to accept it, but fizzle it doesn't seem like we have a whole lot of Chris. I mean, you can say no. You can say no if you want to. No, I'm gonna, snot ball. I'm not gonna say no. 
Yeah. I mean, you took the presents illegally. You said yes. And minstrix. Oh, that's neat. Now go ahead and go ahead and open up your go ahead and open up your uh, your gifts there. Oh, legally binding. Uh, these are items that the league has seen fit to provide you with. Please let the folks at home know what you've been provided with. If you want to exchange your item, I've got a couple of other options here in the uh, other box. So. I got an alchemy jug. Oh boy. All sorts of weird liquids that come out of this. All right, honey. <gasps> mayonnaise. Oh, I always wanted a jam jug of mayonnaise. Look at that face. It's good for you. I'm gonna bring some of the cider. The Come runt. On, trust me. The runt sends their reroll to the table. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. Runt. I got. I got an is it charm. <gasps> it's, it's it's nice, and I can I can dispel magic, or I can cast lightning bolts, and you know I can do all kinds of fun stuff with this thing. Cool. What is it? It's a, a, an is it charm. Okay. I got I got a ring. It's a it's a museum ionizer. Uh, it's a it's um it allows you to uh it's kind of like a spell storing ring, but not really. Only still hurts counter spells, and uh, sometimes when you counter something, it hurts the other person. And it hurts sometimes it hurts me. I think that's what it feels like. Oh, but you know it's it'll be fun. Bright Ooh. UK, thank you for the resub. Ten months. Thank you for thank the resub. I got a boom tag of free range goblins. Do what now? A uh, uh, boom tag of free range goblins. One more time. <laughs> 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 boom keg of free range goblins. Oh, oh. clear that time. <laughs> yeah. This iron keg is an ozip contraption of conjuration magic that manifests goblins out of thin air with some magic or something. Zignos, thank you so much for the sub. That sounds cool. Yeah. That sounds cool. These are all cool gifts, so now we gotta go to the North Pole. Yep. Now, if anybody, there are a couple of other options here. If anybody is is thinking about, I have a pyro converger, I have hunter's bracers, and I have something else. No, uh. -uh. No, you guys I are, like you guys I got gloves of swimming and climbing. I'm already uh, drinking mayonnaise out of this. Perfect. Oh, oh yeah, it's real fresh. Yeah, they're pretty. Great. So, um, Dax will look at you and point at the Is It Charm and say, no, uh, no, I'm using your voice. <laughs> now, keep in mind, remember to discharge your locket every seven hours? Or so, unless of course you prefer uh, spontaneous aether overload, of course. That's not nice. Oh, 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 overload. 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 It's not. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> All right, Edu, you can come back in now. It's my turn. And uh, and Edu, <laughs> the Loxodon, will come back in. Big leather uh, smock that he's wearing as well. Uh, no, it's a bit far from here. Uh, but luckily, we have a ride. Um, for you all to use for just such an occasion. Now, and she holds up a key fob, little button. It says, who wants to drive? Me! Yes. Me! <laughs> you didn't volunteer. It's <laughs> one, two, three, four. Three. <laughs> so she will toss the uh, fob, what? she will toss the fob in your direction. Oh, get it. Um, and uh, you step out to a landing pad and went out on the sky pad. There arose such a clatter. They sprang from the lab to see what was the matter. Away to the skyport they flew like a flash, tore open the doorway and flew like a flash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to the objects below. When what to their wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight steampunk reindeer. <laughs> you step out on the landing and there's a shiny red sleigh led by a team of clockwork reindeer uh, ready to take you to where you need to go. And Edu steps out and... and ah, Santa's sleigh, a wondrous vehicle, plenty of trunk space. <laughs> what do you think it means by that? I don't know. It's funny because I'm, I'm a, a do they, <laughs> Professor, do they get the, I think they get the joke. I think it's fine. It's because you put junk on there, right? Joke in the trunk. Oh, yeah. that was the joke. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a joke trunk. Yeah. Edu, Edu will I shake his head and say, oh, fiddlesticks, and walk back into the, into the room. Oh, fiddlesticks. 
and I'll reach into my coat and pull out, uh, like, snap my fingers, my thumb and my familiar back. Oh, okay. It's just a little rat that, like, that is kind of has, like, patchy fur, like he's been burnt a bit, mm. and he, like, scampers across my shoulder. I can't, I can't leave fiddlesticks here. Yeah. Is that fiddlesticks? Yeah, it's fiddlesticks. Very nice. <laughs> I will make a note. <laughs> <laughs> you know, rats carry diseases. I don't. It's not, it's not a judgment. That's not a judgment against them. Well, just, what have you done to my rat? He's just stating a fact. Yeah. The experiment's going crazy. <laughs> so goblin. You leave fiddlesticks alone. We haven't done anything to fiddlesticks. It looks poisonous already. <laughs> I know. It's gonna. They have seen those claws. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bright UK sends their re-roll to Eric. Oh. Yeah. And Zipno sends their re-roll. It's lit. <laughs> you have the keys. All right, the one on our window. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. All right. I jump on one of the reindeers. <clears throat> oh, you jump on the reindeer? <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know if you're allowed to be up there. Dax will go, ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, and What's the worst that can happen? D- and Dax will say, um, well, have a good trip. Thanks, See you next fall. And she will smack the butt. Wait, will it take that long? <laughs> One of the reindeer. <laughs> With a little goblin driver, or big goblin driver. Big goblin. <laughs> so lively and quick. To the North Pole they went. To the home of St. Nick. More rapid than griffins, the clockwork they came. And Dax whistled and shouted and called them by name. On Dasher, on Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, and Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. And they will all use the dash action. And in a split <laughs> second, you accelerate and you fly at a blistering pace off the road. You're all going a million miles an hour. But the G-forces don't seem to affect you at all. It seems like, it seems like the sleigh has a magical bubble of air around it. What is doing this? How do I make this? How do I You're do You're not in the sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> I need a dexterity saving throw. Uh, it's gonna end real quick for you. Where's my dogs? Plus six. Plus six. Ten. Ten? Uh, you're going a billion miles an hour. <laughs> you can't hold on to Donner's uh, uh, leash, and you fly, going backwards, straight at you all. Oh, look, what do you do? Chris. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh. I uh, uh, use Mage Hand to like, oh. put a, uh, the hand just between me and her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a band. <laughs> Is anyone else doing anything? Is- Am I like actually driving or do I just have the fob? Like, are my hands available? You have your hands on like the leashes to the reins of the reindeer. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna put the (laughs) reins in one hand and try to catch her with my other hand. Cool, cool. Anybody else? I guess I'll put my hands up and try to catch her. I'll put my hands up. All right. Um, Snot? I don't have a lot that I can do besides go, okay! Okay. (laughs) Um, we're, so this will be a group uh, skill challenge. I need d20 rolls from everybody. It's not a disadvantage yeah. since you're just sort of what, what's, freaking what's out. Yeah. Using? So you cast Mage Hand, so you can use uh, Arcana. All right. You put your, you can use your strength. Okay. And you can use your strength or your decks, acrobatics or athletics, whatever you want to do. All right. And it's a saving throw uh, or uh, just check? a ch- ability check. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. Six. Right. Six. Nine. Nine. Uh, let's see. If if we take that two, uh-huh. plus, plus the highest it could be is three, so five. Okay. <laughs> not it's not gonna be great. So you <laughs> launch at the luckily the front of the sleigh is lower than the back of the sleigh. So you're gonna all, right. all these hands, these goblin hands are trying to stop you, <laughs> but you're just gonna go a million <laughs> miles an hour into the back of this sleigh, taking I tried. Three falling damage okay. as you fall into the back of the sleigh and slam your head against the back. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Afterwards, he's uh, snot balls me. I got it. Oh, I missed. Mm. Oh. You tried. Yeah. Oh, That's the snot ball special. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I, I just high five my hand. And I'm like, you got this. <laughs> The sleigh is designed to hold four medium-sized creatures, but it easily fits the five of you um, with, as Edu mentioned, plenty of trunk space. After what seems like no time at all, you land on the outskirts of a valley, looking down into a town that seems eerily quiet. I have a question. I have a question. Yes. Um, I was told that there would be junk in the trunk, so I'm going to to investigate the sleigh. Sure. Investigation check. (laughs) Uh, that is a 23. You do, in fact, find some junk in the trunk. Yes! Oh, yeah. There, there appears to have been a leftover item. Oh, yes! What is this? What is it? What is it? So, you see <laughs> Fizzle rooting around in the trunk, and he emerges with what looks they like emerge. a flamethrower. Oh, cool! Of some kind. Yes. Wow. And, and they emerge. They emerge. Yes. Wow, that looks dangerous. <laughs> what happens if you fire it off the edge? Oh God, what would happen if I fire it off the edge? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did we land? Are we not, or did we... So yeah, you you land uh, on the edge of a valley, essentially around this town uh, that has the large pole in the center of the town. This will roast a tree. All right, I'm going to try to roast a tree. I'm going to see how. Yeah, roast a tree. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Go ahead and. Roll your, uh, use your pyro converger yes, that you now have converger. after that right. successful <laughs> investigation <laughs> check. Uh, Rory, roll one of these Which is in the Guildmaster's Guide. That is a eight, uh, that is nine fire damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the, the tree has to make a DC 13 deck save. The tree is gonna <laughs> fail that. All right, all right. The tree steps and, out of the way. Uh, oh, man. And, uh, We're in combat with a tree. <laughs> I, I, I put yeah, six no, no, on Okay. So, so you have you've used it once. Yeah. And that the way the pyro converger right. works is every time you use it, the chance that it blows up increases. There are no charges, but it, there's One just a higher time. percentage <laughs> chance that it blows up in your hands. Oh, that yeah. was so cool! Yeah. Roast the sleigh! Roast the sleigh! Ah. Thank you to crude impro- imposter for five thousand bits. Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh my god! Wow! Crude imposter. Thank you so great. much. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice of you. So. Uh, yeah, you you have a tree on fire. Yes, I keep myself warm. Great. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the ride, the sleigh stopped in the snow. Oh, I forgot to put the elephant ears on for Edu. I apologize. <laughs> is, I'll give you a little bit of elephant ears for Edu. I didn't know who's telling the story. At, yeah, right. Well, Arthur's telling the story. Oh, right, that's right. Maybe he's a loxodon. Right. Oh, fair enough. At the end of the ride, the sleigh stopped in the snow. And they began their trek down to the North Pole below. A trip through the forest, the goblins they flew to help all the townspeople and Santa Claus too. As you walk into the valley, you find the winding path through a pine forest. It's not snowing here. The snow's already on the ground, thick, sort of like behind y'all. Uh, there's a good, nice thick layer of the good stuff. Good snowball kind of snow. And after crunching through the scattered pines for a bit, the forest thins out and you enter a large clearing lit by the partial moon. (laughs) And there's an old silk hat sitting in the snow in front of you. Oh, wow. A nice little Christmas present for us all. Uh Uh-uh. Suddenly, Mm-mm. piles of snow start to rise into humanoid shapes beneath them, including from right under the top hat in front of them. Oh, God. Oh, Crit, why would you touch that? <laughs> <laughs> Three big balls stacked one on top of the other. The bulbs sprout sticks from the thorax, one of which holds a wooden broom, a corn cob pipe, and a button nose emerge from inside the head, and eyes made out of coal blink open as... This is the Ooh. battle map. <laughs> cool! Oh. Made out of frosting. Yes. These minis better get dirty. <laughs> as one of the uh, beings in front of you finds you and says, time to get frosty. <laughs> Thanks to the secret Santas in chat who unlocked cold medicine. 
Oh no. Um. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And then the snowman looks behind us and sees a flaming tree. <laughs> right. The minis will be represented by these marshmallows. And remember, you eat what you kill. Uh, oh. oh! I get it. Are those the enemies? Go ahead. And, those are the enemies. Go ahead and place your minis, uh, preferably over on the side over here. Here we'll place those. I love this one. <laughs> we go. So we got, uh, oh, we're supposed to have eight, I think is what I drew up. Everybody roll for initiative. RJ Canuck, thank you so much. 21 months. Hey, RJ, what's up? What's up, RJs? Oh. I will also roll for initiative. I appreciate my dice tonight. Thank you, Cracking I Dice. I'm going to dice gel this bad boy. It's no good to me here. It's so no good. good. <laughs> it's not uh, good to me. Uh, who has above a 20? Not I. Jeepers. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Let me get my snowman stats out here. Better. No. There we go. No. Uh, 20 to 19. Or 20 to 15. Sorry, 20 to 15. I am 18. Okay. Anybody else? Oh no. Fifteen to ten. Uh, I got a thirteen. <laughs> Math. How many have you uh, <laughs> ten, ten to five. Okay. All five. right. Here we go. Um, I got six. And you got a four. Um, I got a five. You got a five. Okay. Got okay. Five. We've, we've sorted this out. Five <laughs> off. Uh, you got a six. Yes. It's uh, who's got the high five? Uh, well, uh, my dex is pretty high. All right, Fizzle, you're gonna go up first. All right, all right. Um, let me look at my spells really quick. Um, you see emerging from the snow. Uh, oop, got to turn the battle lights back on. There we go. <laughs> I am going to uh, move. Uh, Behind a tree, the tr the closest tree to me. There. So this is a small bush right here. I'm gonna, this is a tree. Yeah, sure, that okay. works. And the small uh, bush is probably your size anyway. Yeah. Right, the small yeah. bush, small is, bush probably is fine. Your size? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, you're you're behind and, the small uh, bush. And that one right that's here. closest to us over there on the right, the the one closest to you now. This one. That one. I'm gonna firebolt it. Great. Go ahead. So that's a uh, uh, 19 to hit. Uh, 19 will hit. All right, and that is uh, eight fire damage. Uh, eight fire damage yeah. is going to, uh, wouldn't normal, now you see this firebolt hit this thing and you're like, that's a pretty good firebolt. And it affects this snow person much more than you typically would anticipate. It yes. seems they have a vulnerability to fire I'm and really that one out. little firebolt completely takes out that snow what? person. Good turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is. Should have dipped in the icing. It's going to be. <laughs> remember, you guys have two spice dot re rerolls here. Um, mm. It is going to be this the snow people's turn. Mm. Uh, the front row of snow people, which one of them just died, are going to um, drift through the snow. And. Tokyo drift? Uh, they're going one Snow of and they drift. will Snokio oh drift, God, that's way and up. they will come up to the people <laughs> in the front, who are uh, this is Fizzle, Lit, and Kriz are going to get attacks. The first one's going to go at Fizzle. Uh, Eleven. That misses. Misses. Kriz. Nineteen. Hit. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be. Ooh, 10 oh, slashing oh, damage. Oh, great, great. 10. Oh, that's rough. Oh no. Um, did Dax give us any potions? No. Oh, great. Interesting. You're doing great as a tank. Now yeah. keep, keep in mind, keep in mind, anything that exists in Christmas exists in the world. So ask me the right questions, right? And the last one's gonna go after lit. Two on the dice. Uh, as they come up and start scratching. Thanks, Jay Wiley. Thank Jay you so Wiley, much. Thank you. That's John, by the way. He helps make the, he, he made your character sheet. Oh, thank you. 
Nope. <laughs> he's, he's very nice. Very nice man. Um, as those guys come up and start raking you with their uh, stick claws, uh, most of them, you know, so you're sort of able to bat them away. You, however, with your smaller, lither, sinewy form, take a nice big uh, scratch right across oh, no. the face. Uh, it's going to be Chris's turn. What happened? Get him, Chris. My thing on hold. How do I turn? Oh, there we go. Oh, me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a name that's like trumpeted everywhere now. Yeah. <laughs> I um, I am going to use my um, cunning action first to disengage away from these snowmen Kay. so that I don't die. So All right. I'm going to go by fizzle if possible. And this is yep, you that's me. here. Uh, and you're going to scoot over here, yes. and you're using your disengage to not get yes. hit by the the, the, uh, the thing there. Yeah. Uh, RJ Canuck is going to send their reroll to Liz, or Lit, Lizit, sorry, to Lizette, and one reroll to Snotball. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, thank you. And Jay I Wiley know. sends their reroll to Chris. Oh, thank you. Yay! Yay. Uh, edit Chris, speaking of which, it is your turn. Still. Mm. And you've moved. Yeah, I think I'm just going to wait here and then try to sneak around. Yeah, you, have, you have your action still, yeah. Still have an action, yeah. yeah. If you um, want. I mean, do you have a short bow? Yeah, I'll shoot with a short bow. Yeah, short bow. Great. Shooting at... If you there's one, the one, one here, one here. Hmm. Either if you shoot the one by me, you get sneak attack because he's engaged with me. Ah, good point. Oh, even with range? Yeah. Yes. Oh, sweet. I will do that, though. So there you go. So you have advantage already and multiple spice drop rerolls, so... <laughs> That's a 14 plus 6. That's a 20. And that's an 18. So, oh wait. Yeah, yeah. 20. Dirty 20. That'll hit. That's 1d4. As you toss one of your daggers right at it. And that is a 6 plus 4. 10. Plus, 10. Plus your sneak attack. Plus, plus sneak attack. attack. Extra yeah. damage. 2d6. Oof. Oh. Jeez. Jeepers. So 10. 14. 20. So you throw this dagger straight <laughs> midsection right at this snowman. Thank you so much, Food Stamp Hustler. 11 yeah, month resub. Thank you, Food Stamps. Um, right at the dead center at the snowman. And it just explodes on impact, destroying it immediately. There you go. You eat what you kill. There we go. Um, you guys didn't roll great initiatives, so it's going to be the group of other snow people's turns. <laughs> The other snow right, people are going to stay where they are, but they're going to uh, pick up and throw snowballs at you. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> and it's going to be, uh, you're hiding behind Fizzle, so it's going to be the other four. So we'll start here. Wow. <laughs> Get the camera. Do you see that one? I can't see it. It, it landed on the it's edge crazy. of the dice roll. That's a 10 plus 2, it's 12. Pop, pop, shove it, Ollie. Uh, nope. 12 misses? Well, it was cool, though. Yeah, it was great. Um, snot. No, uh, seven plus two, nine. No. Nope. Lit. Twelve plus two, fourteen. No. Yes. Fizzle. Seventeen plus two, nineteen. Oh. That, that'll <laughs> hit. The snowball's gonna hit, and it's gonna be a d4 of damage. So we're gonna roll. Um. Uh, that's a hay. Uh -huh. So that's three plus two, uh, five bludgeoning damage. Okay. Ow. Owl. As Owl. snowballs come hurling your way, um, most of them miss. They aren't particularly dexterous, but uh, one of them manages to find its way home right on the bald noggin of Fizzle. Oh, oh, I no. forgot to put up my mage armor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the doctor is in next. I'm the doctor. Uh, I will walk up to the nearest. Uh, snowman, the one right woman in front of you. person. Yeah, and this is the one um, that was engaged with um, Chris. Uh, Chris before. It hurt. <laughs> well, I think we're going about this the wrong way. You know, we came here and we're kind of invading their space. What if we were just nice to them? Food stamp hustler sends their reroll to Eric. Oh, thank you. So, uh, can I use? some of my hot cider and offer them a mug. Of course! Make a mm, persuasion check <laughs> <Okay>. against <laughs> the snow persons. Now, I am a doctor, person. so I'm recommending some warm mm. 
Apple cider. You are a doctor. Roll an advantage. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this will this will get what ails you. I'll get the holiday spirit. You are right wearing in. a lab coat. Yeah. You do look like you have that authority. I do. Believe and these not. are not Azorius snow people, so they aren't going to ask for your paperwork. Lousy Azorius. Ugh, they're the worst. Uh, this was what persuasion? Persuasion. Mm, this was a fifteen. They rolled a one on persuasion. Uh, Drink up, chums. <laughs> All right, so that was boiled to 300 degrees. Great. So <laughs> All right. about now it should be melting their inside. I'm going to say that this is going to be very similar to heat metal damage, except for that it's heat cider damage. Yes. Okay. So roll 2d8. Okay. And then it's going to take another 2d8 at the start of its turn. Okay. If it can't drop the mug. I did mean well. I mean, if you can drink it and keep it down, nice it's oh, good yeah. for you. <laughs> it means uh, 15. Someone bought it with gold. 15? Yeah. Damage? 7 and 8, yeah. Uh, it takes a nice, steamy, warm drink. Uh, cheers! And it's, it's cheers! <laughs> <laughs> and Frosty begins to melt oh, no. right in front of you. And he goes, this is so nice, though. I know, <laughs> wasn't it? Tell your friends! Don't cry. I'll be back again someday. I'll cry when you're gone. And but it melts me. back oh. into the snow. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Ooh, a snack for my cider. <laughs> <laughs> Snot and lit. You two are tied for initiative. <sighs> Fight off. All right. Uh, do you want what? Uh, do you want to go first or? Sure. Sure. Uh, Snot will see that snowball. It's like. Listen, I don't think we should be right. <laughs> and sneeze uh, and cast poison spray. Oh boy! Yeah, <laughs> at, at this one. Yeah. So uh, lit is directly in front of you. Okay. Do you want to move? <laughs> yeah, I'll move. Hi, guys, we're high. You can scoot like there if you want to, which would be in front of the doctor. Yeah. Okay, that'll be good. That's fine. Uh, so it has to make a Constitution saving throw. Did you get closer to somebody to sneeze on them? Uh, it rolled an eighteen. Oh, okay. Damn. Uh, it succeeds. So uh, I just go, oh, oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. And it goes. <laughs> I feel bad about that. It's it's the cold air. It's just, oh, it's kind of, I'm all kinds of runny right now. You want some oh. cider? Uh, yeah, actually. I would. <laughs> <laughs> have some. You better run or we'll have some fun before I melt you away. That's not. That's, that's, not, that's not nice at Perfect, all. Perfect, Cosima. Awesome. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you. Thank you, Cosima. All right. All right. I see my friends. I'm, just, I'm gonna disengage. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you're, you're, yeah. Cosmo Cos Cos loves, loves them goblins. I'm gonna um, see my friends sneeze all over them. Look, look at snot. It's and I'm gonna snot. pull this um, giant, very large battle axe that's <laughs> off my back, but it's kind of hanging like a bag because there's all these loops of wires and things. So it's just like slacked over and I'm going to pull it from behind and double handed uh, attack my snow person friend. Great. All right, don't do me like this. All right, that's 17 plus seven. Hits. And that's going to be Nine damage. Nine. Nine will take care of it as yes. you see this snow person get completely cleaved in half. Oh, what snow fun! And this was the one that appeared uh, first yeah. with the broom. Yeah. And so that one gets completely cleaved in half. A top hat tumbles to the ground, a corncob pipe. Uh, there are buttons and pits of coal scattered about from all of the various ones, but this is the only one that seemed to have had a little uh, a, a, a broom weapon. Mm -hmm. Grab this, oh. grab this stuff. Oh, I, I sneezed on that one. You should. Oh, oh sure, yeah. true. That's gross. That, but sne it's not the same as licking it. It's not claiming it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's good. It just has flavor. It's gonna go to the top of the round. But first, some Christmas cheer. Christmas cheers. Toa forty seven toasts. The winter is blowing. Eggnog is gone, and the monsters are coming. Save us, little Timmy, and bring the fireball. <laughs> The winter is blowing, eggnog is gone, and the monsters are coming. Save us, little Timmy, and bring the fireball. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. 
Uh, we've also unlocked another tier. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree, which we will get to momentarily. But for now, we're at the top of the round. Fizzle, yes. you are up. Now you have, uh, you see two snowmen and two others are have total cover behind yeah. trees. I'm gonna move this way a little bit and this one over here. Um, Five, 10, 15. No, no, that way. No, no this no, way? Th 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 this way, this way. This towards, way. Yeah, just so I have a better line. Squeeze it in there. Yeah. I forgot to move. I'm gonna. I'm so proud of these maps, by the way. <laughs> yes. I was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fireball this one. This fire one, bolt, yeah. right here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one. It's gonna fire be, bolt. Uh, uh, that's a no. That's a nine. Mm -hmm. I don't think nine hits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does nine hit? Nine does not hit. No. Okay. Oh man, if we only had like. A flame So you see a... <laughs> <laughs> or something like... Oh, boy. Well, you saw when he fired the Pyro they Converger, fired. it did not have a great range. It fired a cone, but it did not have a great range. Okay, okay. Um, as the firebolt <laughs> sort of fireworks off into I the mean, distance can, and, can, and lands into another I, snow drift. Grab it for me. I'll come get it. All right. All right. Um... <laughs> This would. This is the snow people's turn. Half of the snow people get to go right now. Don't, that half is all dead. That half is all dead. Right. <laughs> this half is all dead. All right, good enough. Chris. Um, I will go around, try to get near that one, but without it seeing Five, me. Can, 10, can it see us? 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, you're going to have partial cover from this tree. Okay, cool. Which is going to impose a minus two penalty. Mm -hmm. But make a stealth check to see if it sees you coming or hears you coming. Um, it does have snow sense, so it is connected to snow. Thirteen. Yeah, thirteen is not gonna. Probably not gonna do it, but we'll see. Nope. Oh, <laughs> two thirteens <laughs> on the dice. Wow. Okay. Unlucky for some. Um, and so uh, the snow, the snow person sees you, so you will not get sneak attack mm, on this okay. attack. I will just, and I get a minus two. You get a minus two to the attack roll. All right, I'll use my short bill on it. Okay. Should I, I'll, I'll, is it worth using a reroll right now? How many you oh, got? I got two. Yeah. yeah, I'll use one. Okay. As the spice drop, thanks so much for those rerolls. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's much better. So yeah, minus two is so at sixteen plus six, um, twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. Let's roll for damage. Seven. Seven. Damage as you sink your dagger into the snow person. Uh, it takes a ton of damage. It is not looking great, but it is still alive as much as a snow person can be. And as it looks down at itself and looks back up at you worried, it starts to shrink back down into the snow. And as the action on their turn, all of the snow people will disappear into the snow. Oh no. Whoa. Ruben just wanted to eat some marshmallows. Right. <laughs> well, uh, Minsticks, it's your turn. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm gonna walk up and make sure we're good. I'm gonna start walking forward to see if we're good. Five, ten, we're good. Fifteen, we good? we're good. Uh, you're gonna get surprised. Ah! As <laughs> man moved forward oh, I've been <laughs> and will attempt to make a claw attack at you at advantage. No, no. Ugh. Eleven? No. Nope. So it's it's like halfway out and is clawing at you as I'm it's sort of, it. it's <laughs> rising out of the snow like a like a crazy person. Uh, did I thank Modern Chow? I don't no. think so. Modern no, Chow, thank you so much for the resub. Eleven months. Thank you, Modern Chow. Uh, and it it is isn't going to be able to get you. Look, I and you sense a little bit of of the 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 snow like moving around like Bugs Bunny cartoons digging underground, mm. um, but you don't know exactly where. You just see the snow sort of undulate just a little bit. Look, can you talk? Can you say hello? Hello. Okay, so you can understand me, us. I'm Dr. Minstinks. I used to be... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No. It understands the languages, but cannot speak. So it goes... This one can! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's Perfect. a Christmas miracle! That's right. <laughs> Hello? Hello. It says in sort of a snowy voice. I'm Dr. Minstinks. Minstinks. Can you say Minstinks? Minstinks. Okay, cool. We're friends. We're from the Is It League, way down south. Persuasion. But I'm telling the truth. 
We're yeah, friends. persuasion. It's not deception. It's persuasion. Uh, seventeen. Sixteen. Uh, minus one. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's not his turn or its turn. So it's it's not going to do anything right now. But you've got its attention. We're just friends, all right. We're just here to just explore and see the wonders of the north. Uh, snot and lit. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I go first? Yes. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna run in. This one's you. Yep, yep. little guy. Five. The, the one you can see? Yeah. Straight Five, in. I want to go on the 10, other side of him. 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. And I go, I'm here to party! And I take, <laughs> take my axe and I just t- take it down the middle. Sure. Uh, roll at advantage because you are flanking this marshmallow. I mean, this snowman. Snow person! Snow person. All right, so mm. 14 plus 7. Modern Chow sends their reroll to Snotball. Snotball! You're swimming in them over there, aren't you? your nose! 21 to hit. 21 hits. And that's going to be 7 damage. 7, as that one takes a good amount of damage as well. Um. Yeah, and I'm going to use my bonus action mm-hmm. uh, and go, let's get lit, uh, which is the raging. Uh, and uh, I hope that the other stone I've got for me. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Snot. Snot ball. Snot ball. And then go, I, I think they just want to play with us. So, you know, let's play a snowball fight. And he starts, like, forming a snowball. Hey, you you got to use the last bit to get it really good and... and, and you know, oh, it's getting so really nice and firm. And I'm going to throw a snowball that is inadvertently chill touch. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so that's, I'll make a ranged spell attack, which uh, is plus four. Um, that's a natural 20. Ooh, oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep that one. No need to reroll that. Uh, so I get 2d8 on that damage. Uh, where's my other d8? Right there. Uh, so that's going to be uh, six necrotic damage. Necro- oh, so Chill Touch is not ice damage? No. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> six necrotic damage uh, is going to finish that one off. So uh, it goes, fight. ha, 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 chill damage that- oh, okay. <laughs> and then it'll actually die. This one, right? Yeah. The only one you can see. Oh, God. And you finish that oh, one off. Uh, fizzle. You still see undulating masses oh, about. Okay, okay. Um, I forgot to do this earlier today. I'm gonna pull out a little scrap of leather and be like, yeah, and, and and cast mage armor on myself. Okay. While at the same time, uh, activating my uh, abjurer's ward, so I have I have nine extra hit points. Mm. <laughs> Great. Cool. You put on your winter coat. Yep, I put on my winter coat, Great. and I will uh, just just stay there, and be like, "You guys got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're you're doing great. Mm-hmm. You're doing great, yeah. everyone." Sure, couldn't use a flamethrower <laughs> though. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, yeah. I want to get some sort of flame producing. Fire. Uh, Chris. I am going to climb up the tree. Okay, and you have your gloves, yes. which help you climb. Yes. Make a acrobatics check for me. Plus five because of the gloves. Eleven. Join your tiny dice. Eleven plus nine or six, seventeen. Yeah, easy peasy. We'll use some of the icing here. <laughs> there we go. And you are on top of the tree. All right, I'm just gonna wait for one of us. You have here. a much better angle down on the snow, um, so you'll be able to better spot them when they uh, are around. Awesome. It's going to be the snow people's turn. I'm just like... Ah. Uh, most of you do not spot the snow people pop up. But I see pop, it! It's right there! The mo- but they do I pop up behind trees. Ah. Like ah. so. And they are going to uh, throw snowballs. This one, however, is directly underneath you. Are any of them within 10 feet of me? Uh, no. Okay. Um, and they are going to throw snowballs. The first one's going to throw a snowball at Snotball. Mm-hmm. Two on the dice. Unlikely. The second one is going to throw a snowball at the Doctor. Hello. Five on the dice. No. The third one will throw a snowball at Lit. 
six on the dice. Okay, well, those didn't go great. Um, and that's where they are. Uh, Dr. Minstix. Mm, uh, let's see. I will walk up to the closest one. Which is, this is the one that shot at you. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Oh, he's not, he's not in a tree, right? He's like no, behind, he's behind a, tree, a tree. So I can see him. But that's um, fine. That's, I do okay. want to be next to him. Okay. Um, not so, in a tree. Okay, cool. Um, and I will say, hello, look, I think we just got off on the wrong foot several times in a row. And I just want to just, just start fresh. The coal mouth is going to turn into a frown. And just like stare at you no. with its beady little no, button no. eyes. I don't, I don't want to turn that frown. I sat down. Are you turning his front? Are you reaching over and turning his? Let me just. Let me just. Okay. Let me just. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> you wait, actually roll a charisma plus. Um, this would be. This would be a dexterity check with your moving your hands. Okay. Plus your persuasion modifier, because you're trying to turn his frown upside down. Okay. You've given me plus seven. Great. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. It fits the situation. Uh, 16. That's a 20 on the dice. You star, my so, star. You look... Okay, it just keeps going down. Why don't you just... You know, why don't we just get rid of this? Oh, no. <laughs> and it stares at you angrily with no <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Help! He doesn't... He doesn't like my tricks. Yeah. Help! Like Snot and lit. Uh, don't worry, we're good. To, uh, I I can fix this. Uh, don't sneeze on me. I I I'll I'll just uh here I'll just uh, carve one for you. Uh, some real just uh, and then um I'll cast ray of sickness and I'll be like ah, see you like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on which one? On the the one that he was. This one. Yeah. So I have to move. To, right. So you know, you'll have to move to C. Yeah. And it'll still have partial cover unless you want to get closer. I'll get closer. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a house. So yeah, you're, we'll just get, basically there. We'll get this fixed right up. So you're right? good. And then it has to make a constitution save. Five. Five. Is five good enough? No, it no? is not. It five is not good enough? It is going to take... Uh, I kind of want to reroll that damage. Okay. I feel like I need to do better. Thank you, chat, <laughs> for the rerolls. Uh, yeah, we'll take the eight damage. Yep. Eight damage. Let's put a smile on that face. Let's <laughs> <laughs> put a smile on that face. Right. <laughs> and you, you like... send a ray directly at it, and the beam enters its its midsection right below the neck, and it, it sort of starts sizzling a little bit. Lit. I'm running over behind that tree this right one? for him. And I go, Get over here, you oversized excuse for what? Cold run. Uh, and then I just smash her with the axe. Jeepers. Um, well, we are all good. I did not Is understand what she said, but scientific. it's scientific. No, yeah, I'm into it. Ten, I have to Let's give him a lecture while we kill him. Yes. Oh. Very empirical. Oh, yeah. Is that what we're uh, fighting? That's going to be a... <laughs> I'm trying to be helpful. 11 to hit? 11 does not hit. Oh! as you swing and it's able to, it separates its second and third bits and the ax swings through the middle. You got those, you got those little tasty treats. Oh yeah. You have tasty treats if Can you want to I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-roll. Yeah. Great, oh you have tasty treats for yeah, your roll. Yeah, yeah. I have tasty treats for days. Oh, minty. No. 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 Okay. Did not work. So you're able to swing back through, and instead of separating the second and third, this time the head pops off and it misses both times. I'm just getting more angry. <laughs> Top of the round. Fizzle. Right. As the snow people thumpity, thump, thump, thumpity, thump, thump, thump across the snow and are, are still right. alive, I'm still beaten. Catch me if you can! I'm gonna move it this way. I'm gonna shoot the one that's next to Chris. The one that's next to Chris? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I got you, Chris. <laughs> Something happened over here. <laughs> I just realized that I have my storm aura. Oh, okay. And that uh, that is a uh, 20, dirty 20. 20 hits. And that's just two fire damage, though. Two fire damage, all right. As the one next to Chris, I wrote down a three, takes two fire damage. Well, it's, it's got, it's got, uh, it's got vulnerability, yeah. So it would be. Oh, so it takes four fire damage. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. So it is vulnerable <laughs> to that fire. Uh, and a, a big half of it starts melting off. Almost half of it. 
Um, Kriz, it's your turn. You are above a tree looking straight down on a snow person who's sort of looking around. Does it know I'm there? I don't think so. All right. Well, then I am going to pull both my daggers out. They look kind of like candy canes the way I've uh, smelted them. Perfect. And I'm going to jump down and say, Mary Dimas! <laughs> and then <laughs> with both. Yes. And let's Love see. Love it. Uh, six plus four. Oh. And this is sneak attack. Does that mean I get advantage? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, uh, sneak attack's advantage, yeah. 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 Because it doesn't see you coming. That's not good. I'm gonna just eat this. Okay. <laughs> now you only get one re-roll, remember. Oh, so I not eat those? So you're not getting advantage. <laughs> you're like... You're just getting another <laughs> re-roll. You're not getting, you're not getting two re- You're okay. not getting two d20s out of this. Lady Imago, yeah. thank you so much for the Thanks bits. Thanks, Imago. Okay. So that instead of getting advantage, instead you get a re-roll. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Do I roll again? So you roll once. Yeah. <laughs> you roll once. One more time. Mm. No, it's like a 10 plus, that's 10. Ten? Yeah. Ten does not If hit. I just land on it. As you land, <laughs> make a dexterity check. <laughs> it's that cool line and everything. I know. Uh, I know the feeling. Thirteen. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll land on your feet. Um, a little bit half buried in snow, because the snow is thick here, so you go way down uh, into the snow. We'll have to clean this mini off, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you sort of are like waist deep in snow now after trying to it's land on this snowman. Great. Directly next to it. Yeah, sure. Maybe a little help. It is going to be the snow there people's go. turn. Uh, you guys. The We're snow people this. are yeah. once again going to use their <laughs> snow drift ability. Uh, you're going to get a uh, opportunity attack. <laughs> As they you disappear, and uh, you will get an opportunity attack. Oh yeah! Awful dice. There, there and you'll get an opportunity attack. Oh, oh yes. one, two, three. Rose-colored Rose -colored glasses. There we go. Oh, go What'd you get? I did not hit. Nope. Uh, With a melee weapon. Yep. Oh, 11. 11 does not hit. Fifteen plus seven. Yours hits. Roll for damage. Okay. Uh, my damage is five. Ten damage. Jeepers. It will well, technically be 12. The one, as it shrinks down, that was jumping out of the way, this time you're like, I got you this time, and smacks it right across the middle. And now the question is, does that continue my rage, or would I have lost yeah. my rage because I missed it? No. no, you just have to make a attack. You don't have to hit with the attack. Mm. All right. Or get hit. Right. Get hit. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, Which, and they I mean... disappear. Uh, Doc? So they're gone again. They are disappeared into the snow. <laughs> Catch me if you can. I'll be back again someday. What they can't talk, they lied to me! <laughs> <laughs> I hate this! And you hear the low thrumming, thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump beneath the snow. Your music angers me! Thumpity thump uh, thump I'm going to thump thump. stomp over to Fizzle. Give me the goober! There you go. The goober. I just found it, but uh, you can have it, I guess. And then I'm gonna turn around and torch everything. All the <laughs> oh, torch everything, sure. Lay, everything. Lay waste. So it's been fired once today. What sure. is the uh, what is the ability? As an action, you can use the pyro converger to project fire in a ten foot cone. Each creature in the area must make a DC thirteen dex saving throw, taking forty six fire. Each time you use it, roll a D ten. Add the number of times you've used it. Okay. So, be this plus one. So four. So it's a five. So it doesn't blow up. Cool. Great. Wait. What did you, you, you rolled a five? I rolled a four plus one. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Right? No, I understand. Right. I understand. Okay. <laughs> start, DC starts at thir 11, then it goes down to 10. Okay. Next time you use it, the DC is nine. Okay. If he hits no, a nine, I thought, then it'll I explode. It, I thought my six like added, and then you added Right, more. does not add. Okay, oh, then, no, no, no. then it was better than I thought. Right. Okay. Wait, I so, guess, do I add a plus two because I'm using it? No. no. Okay, I mean, it's still a nine. Um, so you go... <laughs> Across all of the snow, over the fields of snow. Merry Christmas! Dashing through the snow. You do catch one of them in the blast. Good. Um, and it needs to make a save? Yes. What kind? Uh, this is a deck save, DC 13. Uh, it succeeds on the deck save, but it is made of snow. So roll your 85 damage. Six plus nine, so 15 divided by two is seven. Then, yeah. then, but then vulnerability yeah. makes it 14 again. Right, 14 again. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, one of the snow people Dad. takes 14 damage. You can't hide from me. <laughs> there is one remaining nice hidden snow person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Toasty. One remaining hidden snow person, uh, Snot and Lit. I think we did it. You know, I think we're okay. Um, Does there count? No. No, no. Um, uh, <laughs> can, can you count? <laughs> is that what you asked him? Yeah, can you, can you count? count? <laughs> no, me neither. Was um, what was said. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to, like, I know they I disappeared mean, last time and they came back. Yeah. So can I make, like, a perception check to Absolutely. see where it would be? Oh, okay. Um, That would be 21. 21. Okay, yeah. you can definitely sense... Uh, that it is uh, moving sort it's sort of like right here-ish. Okay, I'm gonna go up to that area okay. and because I haven't been able to do this before because I wasn't paying attention, uh -huh. I have my storm aura going. Yep. While raging, I emanate a 10 foot radius aura. Um, the features activate when I enter my rage or as a bonus action while raging. Whenever I activate my aura, I can choose one creature in my aura other than me. It takes lightning damage or half Ooh. as much on a successful oh. dexterity. Dex save. <laughs> 13 plus 1, 14. So I think I'm sure that that beats it because okay. I don't know where it is. Is there half damage or no? I think it's 10. I think it's half damage. Okay, so roll, um, your, roll your damage. Da -da 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 -da. One. <laughs> Halved is one. one. So it takes an additional one lightning damage. Um, and because I can't see, I'm just going to... Whack right in front Take of me. Take a swing? Okay. Yeah. Make a uh make an attack at disadvantage because it's okay. technically invisible. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. I'll take it. Alright, so um 17. 17 hits. Alright. And give me this game. As you see her swing, it picks up one of the balls of the snowmen oh as she's God. sort of golf swinging. 15. 15 damage? Yeah. As you see, four and takes this this Plus piece two. of snow person, and it goes flying over uh, uh, the doctor and Fizzle, and you see it sort of Whoa. fly over your head. And I'm just like, much of snow. That's how it's done. <laughs> Can end the final snow person. Yeah. Yes. I was like, I was like, when I'm watching it. Can I just be like, uh, skeet shooting? Just like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Make a uh, dexterity check. All right. All right. Let's see. That is a dirty 20. That hits. <laughs> sure. So you uh, see this skeet shoot snowball head go flying through the air, and it scatters, and now lightly falling snow. <laughs> it's beautiful. falling. That's over. technically their blood. It's beautiful. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> There's not a lot of water. There's not a lot of water. That's true. Water bloods. Can I just say I'm sorry? I didn't realize we were fighting. So you two can split this one if you want to. Here's your goober back. Oh, there you go. Oh. So you want your goober back. Sure. Uh, that's going to end that combat. save this for later. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed my vanilla icing math. Delicious. That was so great. Mm -hmm. So we've used this twice clear. I'm just cleaning this mini off real quick. Don't mind me. This is not sanitary. Towel. I could use a paper towel, but... Now we have to burn it. So we have hands for me. I'm using different fingers, so hopefully it's cl clean. Um, as the snow settles from that fight, well done, everyone. I'll get rid of this. That was so great. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Like, what are these other giant presents? I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> Maps. <laughs> um, so as the snow hard. clears, you keep walking. Uh, on the far side of the clearing, you have a little bit of trouble finding the path again, but you do spot movement in the trees. Um, or rather, movement of the trees. You see what looks like... You see what looks like a walking pine tree, covered in lights and canes and ornaments and decorations, and you hear the slight <laughs> tinkle of those ornaments as it ambles through the woods. Perfect. <laughs> um, and you see, so that's what you see. Shall we burn it? I well, feel like we should burn it's it. About, it's pretty far away, um, and just sort of ambling through the trees. I mean, is, why? Can, can you talk to trees? I've never talked to a tree. I, I mean, I can, 
I, I, I can give it a shot. I, uh, I've seen her talking to Chris. Chris, it's quite shiny. <sighs> hey, tree! Kind of like disappear to the side. Okay, stealth check. Tree. Come on, Snow. I've seen you talk to trees before. I mean, I never see him talk back, but I see you talk to him. Okay, I mean, uh, just... 21. 21? Um, Chris, you, you look around as you're watching the tree, you look around, there's four of you. Chris it has burrowed into the snow okay. and is gone. Chris, oh no. you oh no. are sort of seeing, <laughs> it's already picking us off. <laughs> you, you, you have this second <laughs> sense of attracting you to the shiniest object that you can possibly find. And you sort of amble into the woods and peek out from behind a tree and you see a Christmas tree person walking through the woods. Okay. You rolled a 21. 21. They took Chris is gone. I'll, I'll try and talk to it. Hey! Hey! Huh? Hey, hey, how's it going? Who goes there? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Stop Ball. You're a tree. Oh, yeah, don't introduce the rest of us. We're not yes. important. Yeah. Yes, I am. Oh, uh, this is... Well, I'm s sorry. It's oh, it has a very high perception. <laughs> so it rolled an 18 <laughs> plus 5. Oh, great. And the uh, the tree will turn toward towards the... Um, towards the uh, the sound and spot you. Oh, hello there. As the Christmas tree looks down and begins talking to you because the secret Santas in chat have unlocked Oh Christmas tree, Oh Christmas tree. Oh Christmas tree. Um, oh, Christmas. It's good to Christmas. see friendly faces oh. out here yes. on my <laughs> stroll. What's your name? My name's Chris. You're Shiny. Yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> and I go behind another tree. Oh, oh, dude, don't be. Oh, all right. I just feel like it's my. <laughs> Who goes there? To, talking to trees is my thing, you know. And Chris is gonna just steal my thunder. <laughs> yeah, we well, gotta be quicker. <laughs> Who go? Who else is out there? Ah, oh, sweet. Stop all. We were talking a moment ago. Oh yes. Hi. How are? You? Hi, Snot Ball. Hi, Sir Colin. Nice to meet you. It's going um, very well. Oh, that's great. Um, you look a little covered in snow. Um, Did you have a interaction? Oh, yeah. Uh, some snow guys showed up. I tried to play a snowball fight, uh, and then they all died. Mm, that's unfortunate. I ate one of them. You ate what? Yeah. You ate one of them? Well, I killed it. Yeah. Well, it's made of snow, so that's... Oh! Well, there's uh, many of you. Uh, uh, so... How how does one how does a tree become ambulatory? Oh well, I'm not so much a tree as I'm a dryad. Oh. I'm just dressed up for the holiday season, you know. Mm. We going to a party or something? No, I'm just walking out in the woods. Festive. I don't have anywhere to be. What are your names? Well, Snotball, as I said. Snotball, yeah. and your Chris. Chris. I'm Min Sticks. Min, min Sticks. Mm -hmm. Litzmet. Litzmet. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm uh, Jack. Jack. That's not, that's not your name. Why are you lying <laughs> right now? It's Fizzle. What's the Fizzle? Wow, where did knock him out, guys? <laughs> Jack Fizzle. Jeez. Very nice. Very nice to meet you all. <laughs> he has a first name. We didn't know, all right? Oh, all right. Oh, very nice to meet you all. My name is Mookie. Uh, wow. Hmm. It's a giant tree. I don't trust it. And for those of you who are fans of the Broken Pact, the highest tier is that this episode becomes canon, which means Mookie would still be alive. Oh, that gets much sadder. That gets really sad. <laughs> oh, no. So unlock that highest tier. I'm where Chuchu is crying. <laughs> oh, it wasn't. It wasn't the Embermind Killers. It was us that killed Mookie. Oh, that's sorry. how the story goes. I'll work it out. I'll that's, figure it out. Yeah, Don't worry. That's how that story goes. If we get to that tier, then I'll figure it out. It's all right. What can I, so you are all out in this, I mean, it's not very strange for a pine tree covered in Christmas decorations to be out in the snow. It's a little bit stranger wow. for you all. We're trying maybe... to find Santa and also the demon that has taken over these lands. Oh, well, yeah, that was yeah, concise. Let's do not jolt Christmas. Let's mm. do not jolt Christmas. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's yeah. this. One more time. Let's. 
Very nice. Oh, well last done. <laughs> Christmas. Okay, that's not great. Oh, I'll try. This demon killed Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Did I do it? Well, actually, it's, this is my <laughs> Halloween deck or uh, uh, Christmas decoration hat for Mookie. Oh, now we have to burn him. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you, I mean, no. I. It's very nice to meet you. You all look like your is it. Are you you're from the Izzet Guild? You know about I the know, Izzet? I yes. know some Izzets. I know, do you know Edu? Edu? Which oh, one yeah. is it? Edu is a, he's Edu also is... from the Celestnia. Edu oh, he's the guy that makes terrible jokes about trunks. Yeah. Yes, okay. I make terrible jokes about trunks as well. We make trunk jokes so that together. Makes, that makes sense to me, because you're a tree and you got a trunk. I, I, I don't understand I don't how. care about him, yeah. Well, it's, I mean, you know, why are you making jokes about your pants? I love jokes. If you want, Do you want to hear a joke? I'm not wearing pants. Uh, you Would you like to hear a joke? Yeah. Do you know You're why right? Santa delivers more presents to the Celestians? Because he, because he's racist. He's That's a, not a funny joke. But I mean, like, what? Why no, else would he choose them over us? It's yeah. because he's. They sleep like logs. See, the joke yeah. is that they're made of trees, also, and we're all part of the land. And jokes aren't as funny when you explain them. I'm trying no, to. No, they get funnier when you explain them. Oh, well, yeah. good. I've yeah. been trying <laughs> comedy. Uh, I'm trying to uh, branch out. But what did you do before the uh, comedy? If you're branching out, what, are you, what did you start no, with? Well, I'm usually back when I was uh, doing my normal thing, I would do a lot of housekeeping, you know, spruce up the place. Because, see, I finally got somebody <laughs> to actually laugh. <laughs> wow. If you ever need somebody to listen to your jokes, I can lend an ear. Absolutely. Oh, that's because you have ears. That's very, I like that. Is there any way, can I help you all with anything? Well, have you seen a demon around? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen uh, the demon, but oh, I've okay. heard then, of the oh, demon. Okay. It appears that the demon known as Krampus has returned. Krampus. Huh. Uh. He's always been jealous of Santa and always had his eye on the North Pole. It's, wait, is the, the jolly guy cramping his style? I think it's a bit of that, that he's <laughs> quite cramped. <laughs> What? No, it's fine. <laughs> is there a, what's the problem? Nothing. Uh, wh which way is where? Where is? Oh, he? oh. Well, I can take you back to the path if you're lost. All right. Yeah. We just jump on. Uh, just follow me. Uh -oh. You know. Okay. Stay true to your roots, as it were. Ha 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 ha. Give it to me. Uh, Mookie <laughs> will uh, lead you back to the path. That's a druid. And as you get back to the path, <laughs> everything um, dies. So you know. So it takes you a little <laughs> while to get back to the path, but you eventually do see it. And Mookie says, "Well, off you go, but um, just remember that you know all things are connected. It's a Celestian thing. You probably wouldn't understand. Have you learned anything today? Ah, uh, trees are annoying." Oh, well, that's not very nice. Can but I ask you one more question? Please don't ask me anything. Oh. You can ask, but ask don't, him. don't, ask him. don't <laughs> ask. Ask him. Yes, yes. Don't yes. ask. Yes. No, yes. that's not, yes. that's not yes. a good idea. I yes. wouldn't do that if I were so you. So what were you thinking about when you were walking around here? Like, I know you said the Krampus was here, and you're building us to it, but have I heard anything about the list? The list, oh, the list is one like, of the many magic items that Santa. Let's download on parchment, and parchment's trees. So, like, maybe it's his cousin. Well, I'm hoping that it's made out of papyrus or something. Oh, I still play I've it. never seen. Well, the plants and the animals and all things—they're all connected. Everything is something. I don't take offense to paper or. I mean, they, they could be connected. I mean, there are ways we could put them together. 
The list is a magic item that can mm. discern the alignment of any character. Ooh, and find cool. whether that person is good or bad. Mm. What if they're neutral? It can also discern mm. that. Oh, cool. Although, usually Santa checks twice. I don't know why. Usually the, the words don't change after the first time. Maybe he's looking for a checkmate. Hmm, possible. I haven't spent much time. Anyway. Okay. Thanks. Of course. Nice you're welcome. Nice meeting you, Mookie. Good luck. Don't, don't, uh... That's not too much, Yeah. He oh, yeah. said that. Hello. Didn't he? I think he did. I did. Okay, he I did. I don't remember. And I'm Stamball. Hi. It's not Ball. Yeah. And Chris. Mm-hmm. And nice to meet you. When I shake his and hand. he will extend a, uh, a bow to you, and you just sort of shake a tree branch. Can I grab the shiniest thing on his arm? You absolutely make a sleight of hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my well, life jump! Fell. I died. Eight plus... What was it? Sleight of hand? Sleight of hand. You got to be good at that, Eight right? plus four. Plus... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Twelve? Twelve. Yeah, you have an ornament. Hey. You have a Christmas ornament. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! And... Uh, Doctor. Doctor Minsticks. Minsticks. And Litmus. Uh-huh. And Fizzle. Yeah. It's very nice to meet Fizzle. you all. Fizzle, yeah. Have a good day. Goodbye. Well, yeah, you said Jack, but they ratted yeah, you out. Yeah. Yeah. Have a have a good day. <laughs> and it will sort of <laughs> <laughs> Bye, be careful. Don't out die and become part of a murder investigation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh this would be after that. So if, if this becomes canon, oh. Mookie's still alive. Again. Right. Again. <laughs> it's a lot of explaining to do then. So after about, uh, after a few minutes, your group reaches the top of a small hill and you see a tall building that is about 120 feet wide by 40 feet deep on the edge of a wood lot. Be a Lego Star Destroyer. Be a Lego Star Destroyer. Shaped like this. Star Star this is the building. Oh. Right? Okay. Um, tall building. No, that's that's back in that's back in that's back in the district. It's one of my favorite places in the district. It's a really tall tower. It's in um it's in uh what's the plaza's name? The plaza's name is um is uh is Nakatomi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Die Hard is a Christmas movie. <laughs> As you see on the outskirts of the building, around the building are um so so the building itself is uh, long um, and it is shaped like a Christmas present. Um, you can see the uh, tall pole, the candy cane pole, um, sticking up in the distance, uh, re- sort of on this side of the building as you, I guess it would be like this from the camera, like so. Um, and around the building, you see a half dozen guards. You see uh, a half dozen little um, toy soldiers marching around the outside, keeping an eye on everything. And they, you can, and they're around the building. In addition, um, you can see that there are many windows lit by candlelight, and you can make out activity inside the building. Uh, On the front of the building, up front, you can see a large set of double doors that appear to serve as the main entrance. Uh, Moving around the outside of the building, there are the six short, shorter than you, silhouetted shapes marching and appear to be on patrol, marching in synchronized step. And as you watch, you also begin to hear heavy footfalls. And (laughs) as a huge Wood-carved figurine painted and shined like a royal guard 
turns the corner. This huge construct wheels a staff thick as your torso, and it walks in mechanical step. The doll face is painted with eyes and a nose and a mustache, and he's got a big bushy white beard under a huge chin of chomping teeth because thanks to the secret Santas in chat, a massive nutcracker also patrols the workshop. Thank you, chat. Thanks, chat. Thanks. The it's exactly come true. what we wanted. Yeah, thanks, chat. So you are yeah. uh, <laughs> on the edge of a clearing hiding in the tree line, and you have to decide how to get to into the building. Are they are they moving? Yeah, they, uh, are they spaced evenly or is yes, there gapping? they're spaced in evenly. Okay. So the soldiers are spaced evenly. Mm -hmm. The Nutcracker is sort of on its own little mission. All right, and it doesn't look like the Nutcracker, because it's so big, could get inside the building. Correct. All right. It could. Could no. not. Could oh, not right. get inside the building. So maybe we wait till like, he's on the other side from us, and we like attack some of the soldiers, and then we create like a hole, and then we run in. We don't have to deal with the big guy. But can we just sneak in? Because, I mean, like, this Nutcracker's not the demon, is it? No, but they're, they're, the, the other, the small dudes, they're evenly spaced. They move around and, like, so we'd have to, like, be super specific. Which I know, I can be super specific. Like, I got that scientific skill, but... Super uh, specific. Yeah. Like I'll just right, throw it over. Right in the, right, <laughs> we gotta thread it, thread the needle, you know. I can be sneaky. Yeah, I can, I can be sneaky and make someone else sneaky. Yeah. Can you be sneaky, Snapball? I can be pretty sneaky. All right. Can I be sneaky? I can make one other person sneaky. Uh, what's your so if you'd like, we can turn this into a skill challenge. If you want to, to, if you have a plan of action going mm. forward, um, how you want to get past the guard to get into the building. Hmm. I have an idea. I have a spell prepared. Okay. It just takes me a minute. We got a minute. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna because it actually has a minute casting time. I'm gonna sit down with with fiddlesticks, and I cast flock of familiars. Oh, cool! <laughs> flock of familiars is from the new thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is it from? Do you remember? Uh, I don't know. It's on D and D Beyond. I think yeah. it might be from Guild Rat. Might be from. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think it's from. I forget what it is. Let me look. Flock of familiars. Oh, crude imposter Nightbright. Thank you so much for the three thousand bits. Very appreciated. Wow. Three thousand. Wow. Bits. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's see. Flock of Familiars. Does it tell me where it's from? No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I just I just know that it's new. So what does it do? It makes... So I temporarily summon three familiars. Spirits take the animal form of my Very choice. cool. Uh, if I already have a familiar, it uh, just is two instead. Uh, familiars, but they have all the same familiar rules, but I have three of them. Yes. And they can also deliver spells like normal, like, uh, cool. like other familiars. And they last for an hour. So... Nice. I will... Uh, bring up fiddlesticks, and I will create um, other fiddlesticks. Okay. And uh, so there are three of them. So I can send fiddle triple sticks. I'll send triple sticks in to go and 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 just when the he's on the far side of us mm -hmm. to distract the some of the soldiers that Excellent. are they're going around, and then we can sneak through. Fantastic. And, uh, the, the 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 triple sticks will go in and like. Bite the the little 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 wooden ankles. Gotcha. And you're gonna wait for the for the nutcracker to, to be, be on, on the, the other side. On the, the far side. Way. Okay. Um, roll for uh, performance for your triple sticks. Should, okay. Let me look at creatures. How good um, is a rat? At? This would be charisma. <laughs> is it my per my or it's the rat? Okay. Uh, I'll let you use your charisma if you have if you have your charisma. Okay. Up. Because you can make them perform. They aren't rats so much as they are fey beings that yes, you control. All right. Uh, so mine is a. <laughs> is it not good? Oh, I said I am. I am so good with charisma. Perfect. I'm so good. I'm so good. I don't believe him. <laughs> Why? I am a natural <gasps> twenty. <laughs> All right, perfect. So good. As the rats... Um... So that's a 19. <laughs> <laughs> Very befitting. As the Nutcracker rounds the corner, you send the Mouse King forward. 
and are able to distract <laughs> all of the toy soldiers, and they disperse from the front door. Uh, you have a line yes. to get there. Go, go, go. Um, and you guys are going to dash forward. Does anyone have slower movement than anyone else? I have 30. 30. 30. Everybody's got 30? 30. 30. So you guys are able to dash while everybody's avoided. Um, the Actually, we're going to roll perception here because he can see over the entire oh, building. Do you want us to roll nope. stealths? Um... It's not so much a stealth as being distracted. Okay. Um, and so he is not going, this this uh, nutcracker is not going to be able to uh, see you immediately, but you guys are 100 feet away, so it's going to take you multiple actions. So the the nutcracker is, the, the, the toy soldiers aren't going to be able to hamper your advance, whereas the nutcracker is going to be able to try to stop you. This is going to be a skill challenge. Tell me what you're doing in order to try to avoid this really big creature. Just anything. Just anything that you comes to mind. Just a generic skill challenge. It's not combat. Uh, are there, like, there's, like, other things on the street? Like, are there, like, lampposts and, like, other buildings? That yes. You things? see, um, uh, similar to the big candy cane, you see slightly smaller candy cane lampposts. Um, you see, um... Snow, it seems like magical snow uh, sculptures out front that have red and green decoration uh, in them. Perhaps gruel, perhaps just Christmas. Um, and also by the front doors, you see piles and piles of coal. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, Snotball is going to go, oh God, it's happening, and go to all fours and like sprout li spider legs and s transform into a giant wolf spider. Wow, and then, okay. And it's gonna like scurry between things, climb on things to try and like make his way around. Perfect. All right. So and you're a giant now. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a giant spider, so oh I'm, a, I'm a medium-sized creature, but I'm a spider. <laughs> But awesome. bigger than you were. Yeah, right. I actually grew. Can you big enough to ride? Uh, it's probably not a spider over there. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, big enough to ride? Probably, I mean, it's we're small, yeah. Get on there. I'm a medium-sized creature now. I I want to hop on him. <laughs> do you do you let yeah. her? And as you hop on, you realize that you've always wanted a riding spider, but turns out you were the riding spider. The riding spider, the riding spider oh. inside was you all along. As uh, as lit. Becomes a mounted combatant now upon the riding spider. Giant <laughs> axe. Uh, anyone else doing anything I, on the way uh, in? You said there were candy canes with like lights. Yes. And they were like, I'm gonna hope these candy canes are like connected to each other. Okay. And as I run by, I'm gonna grab it and use shock and grasp to like overload the the light system and have it go. Mm. All Perfect. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Do screw it. Santa's decorations. Uh, so uh, <laughs> so yeah, I guess an attack roll. Yeah, it's the same for my Arcana check. Uh, 30, 20. Yeah, I mean, it's a post, so yeah. you're able to <laughs> <laughs> grab a hold of it pretty easily, and uh, dzz, 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 and you're able to send shockwaves through the system. Um, you do see the lights all sort of blink in unison, mm -hmm. and, um, and some of them do flicker out. Uh, the candlelight inside is not lit, like I'm just trying that. to create a distraction. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. So that we can... And get you do get... Yeah. yeah. And the uh, the flashing lights are definitely very festive yes. and perfect for the season. Right. Double Clicks Live! Thank you so much for the bits! Yeah, Thank you for the bits. bits! Thank you. Uh, I'll go. Um, if we still have to do stuff to get in, right? We, we all have to do it? No, know. you just have some... If it, this Everything that you do is going to impact the difficulty check of avoiding the big guy. Oh, okay. So do we know where we are now, or we're just gonna go? Nope. Okay. We didn't do anything. Do we? Do we think we're good? I can do one more thing. I got a thing. Uh, I'm going to. Do you have a thing too? I can do a thing. Okay. Let does, me do this. Actually, really. the lights are flickering, so we will keep going. You're good. Too? I do. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Now that's lit. Yup. I want. There was a sweater that said "Get Lit," and I really oh, wanted it. I can't <laughs> find it. <laughs> um, okay, there I'm gonna go. use thaumaturgy mm -hmm. and use two effects. To boom my voice three times as loud and to make that sound originate from a different point. Okay. The range is 30 feet, though. 
So I am going to have it come from inside the building. Okay. And say, <clears throat> hey, it's me, the demon. Oh no, Santa's gotten away. Go chase him, Nutcracker. He's just over that hill. Go get him. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, <laughs> Go chase him. It's uh, me, Santa. My, my face is on top of the building. Roll, have you ever heard Santa before? Only in my dreams. Perfect. Roll. Well, this is the demon. Oh, sure. I've heard plenty of demons. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> roll, uh, yeah. roll performance. Okay. So many demons. And we have unlocked a Christmas carol, which is very nice. Oh, I got a um, Christmas carol ready. I got an 11. 11, okay. And as your voice carries, um, you sense that your voice um, carries more. It carries much more. And your voice grew three times that day. Yeah, <laughs> your voice. I mean, that's what your it voice absolutely grew three times that day. And it's inspiring because thanks to the secret Santas in chat, every character at the table gains bardic inspiration what? to be able to use as a bonus action which gives a D6 okay. if you sing. She's, <laughs> she's, ready. she's already in. She's going to sing for all of us. So we can give it to somebody else? Correct. Right. Oh. Right. oh. You have to give it to somebody else, yes. Uh, do I need to do it right now or do I have no, to? No, when you use it on your turn. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. I prepared this earlier. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so uh, you feel the Christmas cheer well up inside of you. Did you have a and you hum a little bit, and you tap your toe a little bit, and you start to sing a little bit. <laughs> um, am I actually singing? I don't, I don't no, you don't have to right now. Okay, cool. I but when I do... Uh, this is a distraction. Mm -hmm. So, now, the Nutcracker is going to see if it notices you. It's a high roll. Let's see what its wisdom is. Oh, please have a minus nine. <laughs> it rolled an 18, minus four. Oh wow! Okay, that's that's much more. more Which than means more. that it uh, rolled a fourteen, and each of the things you did added two, so it's a sixteen difficulty check. Yes. So you're able to distract <laughs> the giant nutcracker. Oh, I can't believe that actually worked. And you walk <laughs> to the <Crack> building. This. <laughs> <laughs> After moving through. You get to a small warehouse, and your group enters the main area of the workshop. Now, the main area of the workshop um, has cross beams in a high ceiling, um, about 30 feet above the floor, uh, and it's well lit by candlelight. You see uh, tables, uh, two rows of desks, essentially, with people working on um, toys. And at the far end of the room, you see a big sack of, uh, a big red sack. That sitting on the big red sack is some sort of large beast. Now, before we go any further, let's take a look and see. There it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Oh. And there's the <laughs> candy cane at middle of town. So as you can see from this, there's lots of coal at the main entrance. The stars are the snow sculptures with the red and green inside. You can see the piles of coal um, at the main entrance and some of the candy canes lining the outside. In a far corner of the room, there's a massive Christmas tree with lots of gifts under the tree and the big sack right in front of the tree. The room is filled with workers. And the workers belong to, this is my first time rolling the guild die. So this is going to be a ton of fun for me. What is the is it? What if it's the is it? <laughs> Ooh. That's the gold oh, bar symbol. Ooh. So you Easy see, bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> the room is filled with four humbugs yes. and one mistletoe. Which we'll use a green. So the mistletoe sits atop the tree right now. The four humbugs are positioned about the room. The mistletoe is a thorny, 
for those of you that have fought Thorny before. And the uh, humbugs are crawl warriors. Oh. So you see crawl, which are insectoid be beetle people, mm -hmm. um, all wearing pointy red and green hats. Um, and they all appear to be building more of those toy work soldiers that you saw outside. Um, and at the far end of the room, you see them. You see a massive, tall monster covered in dark fur with cloven feet, a tail, two massive horns, pointed ears, and a long tongue. But more than that, he appears to be wearing some interesting clothes. He was covered in fur from his head to his foot, and his fur was all tarnished with ashes and soot. He wore a red suit, and a puffy ball tipped his hat, and his throne was an overflowing red sack. His eyes, how they glistened, his jaws, oh, how scary. His face like a goat man's, his hands, oh, so hairy. He drooled from his mouth, which drew up like a bow, and the glint in his eyes were piercing and aglow. A stump of his pipe he held in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a big round belly, and it shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was gaunt and lanky, a right terrifying beast. Krampus laughed when he saw them. Five course goblin feast. A rise of his chair and a twist of his head soon gave them every reason to dread. The monster turns and looks right at your group and lets out a huge roar. The Golgari got up from their seats and looked menacingly at you. His roar extinguishes all of the channels and plunges the workshop into darkness. <laughs> Are you afraid of the dark? Roll initiative. As you see Krampus dressed in Santa's clothes. All right, this time just loves me. I know, you're rolling hot. Yeah. Get my, my Krampus sheet. Blah. All right, give me just a sec. Picture this guy's like Xenagus the Reveler. <laughs> a little bit, oh, yeah. Gosh, yeah. He's red and green. He's Christmas colors. Well, nice. What are the requirements? Um, 20 and above. 20 and above. <gasps> Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Oh, uh, 20 as well. Uh, okay. This old plus Chris. Uh, 20 to 10, or 20 to 15, sorry. 17. Okay. Much better this time. <laughs> yes. Woo! Right. The, the imposter, thank you so much. 3,000 bits, much appreciated. Right. Hopefully using the hashtag charity, I'm hoping. Uh, get that Get that Jeff Bezos money. Um, so Lit has a 17. Uh, 15 to 10. 13. 13. And then... Uh, 10 to 5. I got a 9. 9. And? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's everybody. Okay. Uh, Fizzle and Chris, you are up first. You are in a um, dark room. Well, we got dark vision. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you? I'll yeah, yeah. Very dark nice. Vision. I got right in sight because I'm a spider. Right oh, now. I forgot to get out <laughs> the. Um... I'm on your back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can Sorry. see. I forgot to get out Krampus. <laughs> Let me see again. Who is a massive demon. What? Oh, oh my oh. goodness. He's that big? He looks so I get a boom yummy. keg. <laughs> <laughs> I want that killing shot. Oh, that's right. You guys can split the the, the spoils if all you right. want. So do you want to put us on the, the map? Well? Yeah, where do you want to? So you guys are all near the entrance. Uh, is anybody specifically in any spots? I would be towards the back. You would be towards the back, okay. Let's see. Lit is riding Snotball. <laughs> right. Um, do we have a spider mini? Dom, if we could. Thank you. 
So snot ball there. How about uh sorry, sorry, Thanks, sorry about that, Dom. Thank you, Dom. Snot miss it. Um <laughs> Doc. Uh I'd be probably near the back as well. Okay. Actually, maybe like midway between so I can Okay, we'll put you in front I'll of put, a little bit. Put me next That to sounds Doc. good. Put you next to Doc. Yeah. Okay. You two there. And with the mounted spider right there. Leading the charge. Uh first to act is That's gonna be enough. Fizzle and Chris. You're not as big as the kid. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Blend, <laughs> oh, blend wow. in nicely with the snow there. He, he's a ghost spider. That's true. There you go. All All right. Right. Wolf spider, sorry. Um, mm. Fizzle and Chris. Hey, hey, I put this one on there, but this is probably too big. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a big one. He's not that big. Chris, you want to go first? I, I think that's accurate. Um, maybe, Doc, do you have any yummy juice that might help uh, stem my bleeding? Yeah, I got some mayonnaise. <laughs> it, if it'll help, I'll, I'll eat the mayonnaise. Now remember, you guys can also use the, the holiday zeitgeist. Oh, I mean, I got the cider. Of to ask cider. if there's things that can happen. Uh, no, all I of don't those... remember all my Christmas stuff. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I am, well then, while you're thinking, I will uh, shoot a, uh, uh, at this, this closest one over here. Yep. I'll use a chaos bolt. Ooh, chaos bolt. Yes. Yeah. Great, do you have that one written down? Yes, I do. Cool. Because I don't have Chaos Bolt memorized. Thank you, Dean D Beyond. That's an Is It thing, right? That is an Is It thing. Mm -hmm. Exclusive is it? is it spell. Is it? So, yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to call this. Monster Man. Uh, they are. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, Psychic Damage. Mm -hmm. I think it's based on what you roll. Oh, it is based on what I roll, actually. Yeah. Well, you can. Purple maybe... is going to be it. Uh, you get two actually... choices. Yes. Uh, it can either be. Five is necrotic, and eight would be thunder. Um, I'm gonna go with the ne no. I'm gonna go with thunder because they're Golgari. Okay. I want to hit him with necrotic. Uh, so does that? Uh, but that's only an eleven to hit. Hmm. I don't know if an eleven hits. I gotta look in the book. Sorry. Maybe I can. If the table's okay, I didn't get any of them re-rolls, but there's a couple waiting over That's there. true. Go get them! Get them! Uh, uh, 11 is not going to hit. These things are well snag armored. Snag one of them. Give me, give me one of them. Get that spice give me that green one. These things are well armored. Get that spice mm -hmm. drop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Use my mm -hmm. drop. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, that's a uh, 15? 15 is not gonna hit. Oh, These no. things are very well armored. Tough bugs. Oh, tough oh. bugs. All right. Um, all right. Mm. Um, Guess it's in the holos. There it is. I am going to then use my bonus action. I just looked up one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite Christmas carols. Mm -hmm. This one is in, in the, the style of, uh, of the great old ones. Uh, so, um, oh, you better watch out. You better go to ground. Your reason's in doubt if you stick around. Cthulhu is coming <laughs> to town. Perfect. <laughs> He's making a tome for cultists to find. He's gonna make sure you're losing your mind. Cthulhu <laughs> is coming to town. All right, I'm gonna give that to uh, I'm gonna give that to you because you're Boom. you're my beat stick. <laughs> I am beat stick. <laughs> uh -huh. All our beat sticks. As the uh, the necrotic energy inspires you to sing about mm -hmm. uh, the great old one mm -hmm. in house Rylea, mm -hmm. um, and you feel inspired. Take it, uh, Chris. Uh, yeah. Can I have some of that cider? Uh, yeah, I can pour you a mug. Yeah, that would be great. You get a you get a mug of spider, a Three. spider, a, spider. a mug of cider. No, Three hundred degrees. It's full of spiders. <laughs> and I will chug it. Mm hmm. And hopefully, it fills you with Christmas, Christmas cheer. Christmas cheer and cinnamon and apple. It boils your insides yeah. in a good way. Yeah. Good way. And yeah. so you you feel that Christmas cheer welling up inside of you. Um. Yeah. So you you will um. Uh, we'll say for the sake of this that you feel as though you are under the blessed condition. So you can add a d4 to all of your d20 rolls right. for the next minute. Blessed. Hashtag blessed. Um, 
How does the inside of this look? I have urban infrastructure, which means I can kind of know how a building is Right, you have built. the entire yeah. layout. <laughs> we all do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, every, all of you have the entire layout of this building. So as you can see, um, there is this ground floor. There are the nice, um, uh, the nice roof mm -hmm. with the uh, exposed beams meeting up at a point about maybe 50 feet above that are about 30 feet on the sides. Okay. Um, those are, there is a, uh, a tall Christmas tree, maybe 25 feet tall on the far side of the room. Uh, there appear to be um, enough scaffolding and, and handholds to be able to scurry up the walls to be able to get onto the the um, where the roof meets the walls, if you wanted to scurry along the edges there. Um, or you could just be a spider and get up there. Oh, that too. <laughs> um, was there any other specific questions you had about the infrastructure of the um, building? Did those things look like they're load-bearing? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, um, I like where you're going with A couple of them. <laughs> it, it looks like there are a number of load-bearing, uh, specifically the beams are mm -hmm. load-bearing, and there's also the cross beam. Okay. Um, which is a big piece of tree. Okay. And uh, SF Giants 49er, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you. Um, bits those bits, are, bits, uh, bits, bits, bits. and there's plenty of windows, very little light in here. It is still quite dark. Okay. Um, you know, uh, uh, the whole building appears to be made out of maybe not wood so much as gingerbread. Okay. Um, Dumb idea. Mm. <laughs> cross beams of very of like structural integrity gingerbread. Is gingerbread flammable? Sure. Why not? It burns. Mm -hmm. Everything yeah. burns eventually, right? Yeah. And easily, we've discovered that everything's flammable eventually. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's true. What's the chance of that blowing up again? Uh, well, right now it's only if you roll a nine or higher. Let's keep it going. Let's okay. Keep it going. Great. Can I have the goober? Yeah. <laughs> Is it called the goober? <laughs> It's the pyrocum goober. Okay. <laughs> We've all seen into this pyrocum. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, if I can still just climb, I'm gonna start climbing. Okay. You certainly can. That way. Which way? Up uh, to the right. Yep. Over here. Yep. How high up you want to be? Um, there, there's fine. Okay. So you're you're up on maybe th uh, thirty feet up. Okay. Instead of just where we are now. Cool. Uh, that was Fizzle and Kriz. Uh, next up are going is going to be the Thorny, which climbs down from the roof, um, or from the from the top of the tree, and can't get too much further than that. It's just going to be down on top of the um, the presence down there. So that's what the Thorny is going to do on its turn. Uh, it has. It looks like it blended in with the Christmas tree as it climbed down. It looked like the predator, essentially. It can blend in with uh, with with plants like that. Horrifying. Uh, yeah. Snot. Okay. Um, We've got our own predator. Do you want to move with me? Uh, where are you going? <laughs> I'm gonna go for that first bug guy. Oh yeah, take me. Take yeah. take me for the ride. Well, you're <laughs> it's, yeah, you're riding on the back, so you go over this way over to the bug. Yeah. Great. And then I am going to bite it. Great. Let's see, first roll. Uh, let's see, is is a 14 going to hit? No, it's not. We nope, know that 14's that not going to hit. These things so are very it, well armored. Spice, spicy yeah. drop. We'll go. Yeah, get a sample. Get, get it. it. Uh, yeah, that'll be a um, 17. 17 will hit. All right, it's going to take... A d6 plus one, and it has to make a uh, constitution save. Okay. 16 plus... 17. All right. So it takes six... Or it takes... Yeah, it takes four damage from the bite, and then it takes uh, half of this. It takes... Um, so half of four. nine. Four. It takes four poison damage. Wow. A lot of damage there. Very nice. As uh, as you sink your mandibles into it uh, right away. Anything else? Um, nope. That'll be it. Okay. Uh, that was Fizzle, Chris. Did you go yet? Nope. You were supposed to go. Sorry, I apologize. Okay. Lit Vincent is my apology. <laughs> my apology. True. Uh, Lit, you're up. So I have this boom keg of free range goblets. Mm -hmm. Now it says sure it, do. Uh, I can use an action to blow this mother up. Now question. Yes. I'm thinking about kind of like 
placing it and like smashing it with my axe. I want to like hit it like a bat, so it yeah. kind of like goes in the middle of the room. Great, sounds awesome. Can that be it? Sure. Okay, cool. You, it has a huge range. You can actually launch it wherever you want it to go. Yeah, I just kind of want it like right, like dead center in the okay. middle of everything. Just sort of like right here? Yep, right okay. there. Great. Uh, what do you need so for me? It creates 1d6 goblins. Makes 1d6 goblins. Yeah. So make a goblin. Make me a, make some make goblins. Me a goblin. And remember, you can re-roll this okay. if you want to. You so would get four goblins. four goblins. Okay. I'll take that. So here's, here's the goblins. Four gobos. And you can place those where you want on the map. You made goblins? She's a barrel of, th or a, a, a boom keg of free range goblins. I mean, these are always trying to play God, but this is the first time we've been <laughs> successful. Okay. okay. Those guys. Well, I mean, any of us can really make goblins. It usually just takes a while longer. Uh, Go on. And then, what's the boom keg? I'm listening. Well, you're a doctor, aren't you? It can't be used again until that many like. years. I mean, I know, but, you know, she doesn't, so... She you, can't, you won't be able to use your boom keg for another two weeks and, a, and one day. But you've made four goblins, which scatter themselves around the room. These goblins have sort of appeared and, and formed themselves out of the elemental plane of goblins. These are, um, like, little shapeshifter-y goblins that, mm -hmm. when they appear, are fully formed. But they're not it goblins. Mm -hmm. Of course um, not. Hey, goblins are goblins. These are like goblin tokens as opposed to goblin yeah. cards. Like one wind up. Yeah. Okay. Um, one wind so gobos. I'm still very attached to them. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, they attack and block just like everybody yeah. else. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to hop down and just, I want to move kind of towards the but, middle as but well. To be fair, they're just here to chump block for us. Yeah. Right. Like right there. So going to move to the middle like there? Yeah, right there's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, and I'm going to use my bonus action to rage. Okay, bonus action rage. Mm -hmm. um, and the gobos are going to go on initiative count zero. Are you. Right? Yep. Is that what it says on the thing, or did I write that down? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> uh, lit and then snot, and now it's, now it's Krampus's turn. Krampus um, is going to uh, move in a straight line and hit with his gore attack. It's a. Uh... Uh, both of the goblins are getting opportunity attacks. Do you want to roll them? Yeah. So go ahead and roll those. Two of them. And... It's a bit much, this, melee. Uh, okay, plus four to hit. We'll use this guy instead of the, the cupcake, just because it's taking up too much of the <laughs> square there. That one will hit. That's 17. So that's a 17 and a natural one. Okay, 17 so, will hit. And then I... D6 plus two. Oh, six. Uh, it's eight. Eight, eight damage. Yeah, yeah. I rolled nice. nice. As Krampus, aced wow, it aced it. Nice. nice is gonna take uh, is gonna take the full brunt of That's that damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see Krampus stomping forward in a Santa hat. And Santa jacket, uh, and is going to come up to you, lit, mm -hmm. and is going to gore attack you. Nine plus four, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think that's not senior. Uh, yeah, I'm sixteen. It's all right. Well, not going to hit. Rats. That would have dealt a lot of damage. Uh, question. Yes. Because I'm raging, and he's now in my aura. Does he take? What does the aura say? It says the aura's features activate when I enter my rage or as a bonus action while raging. Whenever I activate my aura, I can choose one creature in my aura. Well, I guess I didn't. So, not yeah. yet. Yeah, okay. Next time. Okay. Uh, that was Krampus's turn. The doctor is in. Okay. Um, I guess I'll do this. Uh, I have a question about this alchemy jug. Yes, sir. So, I cannot change the liquid inside of it. Until the next dawn. Okay. Can I say, because we traveled so far that we went beyond the next dawn? Mm. Or is it still full of mayonnaise? <laughs> <laughs> or I'm going to try to blow this building with mayonnaise. <laughs> Which is also great. It's probably explosive. I would say... I mean, to some people, it causes some explosivity. Do you have a is it device that would help re-trigger uh, uh, solar dawn revolution activity? Of course I do. Okay, what's it called? 
And what does it do? It's called uh -huh. Sensei's Divining Gradle. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah, it's and the the alchemy jug uh, believes that it is a new dawn. Okay. Perfect. Then I'm going to use the liquid to beat uh, oil. Okay. Which I assume is flammable. Yeah. It's a new dawn. yeah. Cool. So. Uh, well, actually, how about this? The way I'm going to flavor this is is as is as such. Um, you thought that the alchemy jug was spent. You thought that it was out of oil. Mm -hmm. But miraculously, through the miracle of lights, you actually have eight days worth of oil. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Happy yes. Hanukkah. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Hanukkah. Yes. Okay, so I how much oil know. does it normally make? A quart. So you have eight quarts <laughs> of oil. Wow. It's gonna burn so many things. <laughs> so many things. Maybe he's uh, so beautiful. I'm gonna walk to the first, uh, <laughs> These are the support beams, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. So I'll walk to one of those and just start dousing with oil. Yes. Okay. I guess I, I, if I can move and douse two of them. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's, is that a it's hat? A hat? No. Did you wear that? It's not. Oh, oh it's a hat not a now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a hat now. It's something. I don't think they, they anyway, go together. So you'll start uh, dumping the oil yes. at the ba at the beam. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Two I of them it. if I can. Yeah. I don't know if I yeah, can. Yeah, you can d you can dump on two of the beams. Okay. And so you'll walk behind these tables and start dumping on beams. Hey, Fizzle! Hey! Fizzle! Fizzle! Fizzle and Chris, I'm making this. And that's going to be your action is to dump out the oil. Oh, yeah. Your okay. Hanukkah hat? Yes. Wait, this is, what, what about this is Hanukkah? Well, he has another okay. half. Um, sorry, America. This is it is now going to be the crawl's turn. This is the me. humbugs. <laughs> are going to go, bah humbug, and climb the walls. I got an attack and opportunity. You sure do. I'm gonna bite him. Great, do it. Uh, no, that's gonna miss. That's gonna be it. <laughs> you have well, friends. Okay. <laughs> uh, they scurry up the walls, and this one is gonna get to attack you. Don't worry, I'm putting some oil down. I'll burn it all down. Nine plus... I'm gonna find a place. Here, we're gonna... Plus negative Four. three. Yeah. Um, Thirteen. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, it tries to uh, stab you with its spear and it's unable to do so, but it does spider climb up the wall. They do spider climb up the walls. Uh, at the bottom of the round, the gobos get to go. Let's go. Except there's nobody around them anymore. <laughs> Don't want that oh, the gobos got attacks of opportunity. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, two of the gobos got attacks of opportunity. Two of the gobos got attacks of opportunity. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeepers. Jeepers! Two of the goblins got attacks of opportunity, uh, and one of them. Oh. No. Neither no. of them hit. No. Okay. No. Not, not a hat. No. And now all four of them go on. Remember, there is one reroll remaining. Not worth. Right Did I now. think? Oh, Quest and Chaos have, has raided the chat. Yeah, while I was. Yeah. Thank you so much, Quest and Chaos. Much appreciated. Um, and so do either of your uh, goblins hit? Nope, neither nope. of them hit. Neither of them hit. all <laughs> on Grampus Krampus. Great. They're all on Grampus Krampus. Yep. Uh, top of the round, Fizzle. Huh? Oh. Actually, Actually that Chris. Was, no, that, that was sorry. just, just that was reaction. Reaction. Yeah, that was Oh, that was an opportunity attack. attack. Yeah. So that was the crawls that went. Yeah, and then oh, yeah, they So the gobos get to go. What is that? They're all going in there. Okay, go ahead and roll. And they have, um... Plus five. Yeah. Do you want me to roll two of them? Or you want more dice? I got it. Nice. Dice. All right. Don't do me wrong, guys. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so 15. 40, 20, yeah. Two 15s, a 16, and a natural one. Uh, it appears as if Krampus has activated his shiny red suit. And none of those attacks hit. <gasps> what? Cheater! Oh, legendary actions. So rude, man. I was on his side. Um, at the end of the Gabo's turn, he is going to activate a legendary action and use Solstice Stalker to teleport back to his throne. Top of the round, Kriz uh, and Fizzle. All right. Chris Fizzle. Chris Fizzle. Sounds like a nice drink. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I mean, you didn't cast a spell, no? No. All right. I'm going to... 
upcast Chaos Bolt, the second level spell slot. Just making sure that we haven't unlocked the next one, because that might affect things. Dom went poopy. No, Dom's over there. Dom's <laughs> over there. Oh! Hi, Dom! <laughs> I thought you were going poopy. He doesn't do that. All right, Chaos Bolt. All right, this is at Krampus. Great. <laughs> does a 15 hit? 15 does not hit. No. Nope. Nope, the Gobbo's hit with 15s. Yeah. We, I didn't hit with 15 or no. 16, so it's 17. Is this on sure. the crawl? Yeah. No. Oh, oh, this is on, on wait, is this on? Uh, Krampus. This is on Krampus, yeah. Oh, yeah. 17 does not hit, or uh, 15 does not hit. 15 does not hit. All right. Can I use the last table one? Do yes. it! Eat it up! Yum yum yum! yum, 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 yum. You gotta say yum 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 while eat it. Yum 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 yum. Okay, that was, <laughs> oh, was kind of spicy. <laughs> yeah, sp spice drops. Mm. No, that's worse. I just keep losing my spell slots. Drat. As mm. the bolt hits the tree back here with some amount of energy. Some amount of... <laughs> it was a lot of energy because I cast a second level spell slot and mm -hmm. it was gonna be... It was gonna be... What kind of energy was that? That was gonna be... Uh, Radiant. Now keep in mind you guys still have your Christmas carols. Mm, that's right. Which mm -hmm. you can use to be able to uh, inspire each other. Oh, I already used mine. Yeah. All right. Well, that's me. I'm just going to wait back there. Uh, Chris. Um, Is the candy cane, um, what is that? Is that is one cane? of the poles. Or it could be a candy cane. It's up to you. What do you want it to be? It's a candy cane. Great. It's a candy cane. All right. Can I hop on it and try to like make it fall over? Sure. All right. I'm going to do that so I okay. can get away from the crawl. Uh... Are you using a action to disengage? Yeah, I would disengage okay, my bonus disengage, action. And then make um, Vampire 54, thank you so much for the hey, donation. Yeah, Vampire 54. Um, so you're going to jump onto the candy cane to make it tip over? Mm -hmm. Not very difficult to make it tip over. Roll for uh, do dexterity acrobatics. I can do that. Woo! 22. Oh, wait. Yeah, 22. <laughs> no, even more. I can do math, 24. As you land down there with the candy cane that I've just destroyed the map to, Sweet. to do. Sweet, and that was my disengage, right? Correct. Cool, so that was my That's bonus action. Correct. Okay. So I'm gonna shoot it. So. Okay. Awesome, shoot it. Yeah. All right, you've been doing good for me. Jeepers. You, you jinx yourself by it. Jinx yourself. Never praise your children. I know. It's out of there. Oh, sorry, keep thank them you. In that shame. Shame down. Shame down. All right. <laughs> uh, what does that mean? Next after Chris is Fizzle. You went already. Yes, I missed. Um, f you cast a spell though, right? Yeah. Be so we triggered it on the same turn. So I'll say that as you cast your spell. Okay. It's chaotic. It's it is chaotic. Let me get my notes out here. As you cast your spell, uh, you feel the wind howling inside of you, like this swirling storm. Inside? Inside. Mm -hmm. You wanna keep going? Do I have to let it go? No, no. You have to let no. it go. Because <laughs> the secret Santas in chat have unlocked let it go, uh, which means that every spell that isn't a cantrip that gets cast from now until the end of the game mm -hmm. triggers a wild magic surge. <gasps> so I need, I need percentile. Ooh. Okay. I've never actually done this before. I've never played a wild magic sorcerer. Don't great. get a 36. Don't get Is that true? I think, or 39, something like that is fireball. Uh, it's a 47. It could be great. Give me just I a mean, second. It, tar it starts on you. Oh. And goes outward. Yeah. It, you cast fireball on yourself is what it is. Send it on yourself. Uh, yeah. JK. So okay. you what did you get? 47. Certainly, 47. Certainly die. Yeah. Unless you want I freaking roll love this true. stuff. Uh, and you see... Is it a unicorn? It is a unicorn. <gasps> oh! Yeah! I summoned one in our Christmas God campaign. Oh my we gosh. Summoned. I sacrificed it. Jeez. <laughs> I don't have a unicorn. Dom's got it. Dom's, Dom's got, got a unicorn. Dom's on unicorn. However, however, the unicorn is controlled by me. Ooh. Oh. Um, roll an animal handling check. Me? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, you, no, you, 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 you roll an animal handling check. Sorry, what is animal? you roll yeah, animal handling. Yeah, it's cool unicorn. It's wisdom. Perfect. It's not charisma. Okay, that's fine. That's good. You're that's really good. wise, right? Yours. I am. I am. Right I am the wisest. Obviously, I am. Uh -huh. I am the best. Uh -huh. And that's uh, that's a seventeen. 
You have a unicorn. <gasps> We're on easy street now, baby. What is my unicorn's name? Mull it over. I'm gonna mull it Yeah, over. think about it. Mull it over. Mull that wine name. over. You have the monster manual over I there, do. right? It's right here. So you've well, got it. For, you, I you can, can look oh. it up. Just kidding. No, the monster manual is right so, here. So unicorn should be in this as well. I can look it up. Okay, you and then you have gabos. Yep. Man, Man there's a lot happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that was uh, Fizzle and Kriz. You all good? You used your bonus, you used your action, you used your move. Mm -hmm. Lit. It's lit, fam. It's lit. Um, I'm gonna run straight up to my Krampus friend. Yeah. You trudge past your Gabo gentleman. Yep. And... Krampus is right there, right in yep. front of you, sn snarling down at you with its horns bared and its teeth snarling. Two hands. Yeah. I'm gonna say, it's litmus! And then, uh, attack. Great. Roll, roll your attack. Like the is test? It, the is it, yeah, I was gonna say, the test? No. He doesn't like tests, I like it. Can I use my inspiration on my roll? Tests. Sure, why not? <laughs> I mean, uh, so that's nine plus seven. Sixteen. Sixteen? Sixteen does not hit. <gasps> oh, can yes. I re-roll it? Sure. You're a big tough boy. Nope. Is that one? one? It's a one. Oh no! But! Yeah? He does take a d6 from my aura. Okay. <laughs> Is there any holiday themed reason why you think you might get a re-roll? Or could, why you might give, regain hit points, or why you might have some sort of effect. I could sing a song, and while I know that's for the the, the bardic inspiration, the bardic inspiration. I'll I mean, see. I could be feeling very jolly. All right, let's see what what we got. I don't want a lot for Christmas, but it's just a thing or two. I care about the presents that you bring into me. I don't even have a stocking. What is it? Um, a fireplace? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Very nice. Um, sure, re uh, reroll. <laughs> okay. All right. 14 plus 7. That hits. All right. We've and done <laughs> we've done it. We've hit we've it. Hit it. Um, so it's 18. Yeah. Maybe. Well, I think it's 17. Um, All right. And it's a D10. Mm hmm. Which is three plus five. eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. Whoo! Very nice. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Krampus is going to use two of his legendary actions to use Santa's sack. I need a. <laughs> uh, I, we're going to make a grapple check. Okay. He's gonna grapple with Santa's sack? So, do you want me to? Yep. Okay. Uh, you need higher than a 12. Come on, let you uh, or acrobatics. Uh, for you. Athletics. 12. So that's gonna be a 14. Yes. Got it. So he's gonna he's gonna try, he's gonna open the sack, and inside you see like empty blackness with some stars. <gasps> It almost looks like the astral sea inside of the sack. <sighs> Perhaps a sack of holding, as it were. And you are avoid the grasp of Krampus, and you just are <laughs> just out of reach of his spindly claws. I've been there before. What? It's not fun. Yeah, we, we work in the, the school of like teleportation. It's the lab. Uh, Sometimes we, experiments. we go places. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew that. I knew that. Snotball. <laughs> Snotball the spider. I mean, spider ball. Just yeah. put on it's your turn. One day, call myself a doctor. Snot, snot <laughs> spider. Yeah. Uh, snot what ball. does your spider look like, by it, the way? It's uh, it it looks like um, like it has very spider features, but the the face, like the the top part of the head, is like snot balls, like face <laughs> and like ears and stuff like that. Awesome. Aww. Yeah. Cool. It has a lot of goblins. And it's eight legs or yeah. eight candles for yeah. the... Yeah. Uh, so Snapple's going to scutter over to Krampus and... Um, I think you're just out of range. I have 40 feet of Oh, you have 40 feet? You're good. As a spider. Great. Got them big legs. Yeah. Got them big spindly legs. You got it. Gross. Uh, and <laughs> I'm going to attempt to bite Krampus. Okay. Uh, that's not going to do it. I'll... No, 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 no. no. 
Uh, mm. That's probably also Guys not going to do it. Tonight. He is hard to to bite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a tough Real boy. tough. Uh, as a legendary action, Krampus is going to go is going to from his back pocket produce a piece of parchment <gasps> and open it and say, "If you've been good, have you been bad?" Who has a good alignment at the table? I didn't actually choose one. I, will... I chose chaotic neutral. Neutral. Um, I'm going to go for it. Mine just says uh, chaotic. Two. Are you are you good <laughs> or are you neutral? What do you are think? Are you good or neutral? Um, I am neutral. I would think you're neutral because yeah. you steal stuff. <laughs> yeah. Who's I good? I believe in the power of science and the, the benefits it can bring. I think I'm chaotic good. Okay. Raise your hand if you're good. Sure. Yeah. Raise your hand if you're evil. You're evil? I mean, I'm, I'm all about poison and spiders okay. and stuff. Mm. Is he back. casting a spell, though? No. This is a uh, ability. Okay. Do you want to try to counter this ability? Uh, if I can. Roll an arcana check. I have, I have the, the yeah, ring. Yeah, you have the ring. Roll an arcana check. All right. That's a 15. Sure. Countered. Ooh. What does the thing do? Uh, Mizium Ionizer. Mm. Uh, this ring is an, is an invention doing its best imitation of a ring of spell sword. It has three charges. For one charge, you cast the third level version of Counterspell. You increase the spell slot level for one for each additional charge you expend. You also spend one. When you successfully counter spell and swipe, both you and the caster make an intelligence saving throw equal to 10 plus the level of the spell cast. Characters that fail are targeted by one magic missile dart for each charge expended. Ooh. I rolled an 11. What was the what DC? Was the, the 10 plus the level of the spell being cast. 10 plus, so it's a it's a legendary action. So, so it's, it's probably gonna, I would say that he had to spend one, which is probably worth two points, so he fails. All right, so DC's 12 then? Sure, we'll DC's that. 12. All right, let me look at my saves. I have a 12 oh. on the die, and I, in, wizards have intelligence as saving throws proficient, so that's probably like a 17. Okay. So, so you succeed, and he Krampus takes, fails, and he takes five points of force damage from a magic missile. Yes, as it like a, like an ionizer. Right. And so, what is your magic missile? What does the magic missile out of the ring look like? Uh, well, it's, I think the ring. I, I, I create, like, whatever spell he's doing, it, like, oh. explodes right there in the space, and it would normally send, like, bolts flying off mm -hmm. in reaction, and mine goes, and doesn't hit me. Uh, but his, it goes, in, it's like a little blue, like, like a, looks like a, like a spell piercer. Hmm. Very nice. <laughs> so a little, a little force magic spell piercer flies right into Krampus and gets him right where it hurts, right down there in the cockles, yeah. right there in the, the midsection. Um, that was Krampus's legendary action. It's now going to be Krampus's turn. Yeah, fizzle that. So greedy. Come on, Krampus. Where'd the player's handbook go? Do I have it? Uh, is it under that one? It's so many different mine. Mine. I'll take one. Oh, there it is. Because I don't want to lose the uh, wild magic surge. But Krampus is going to cast a spell. Oh, I already used my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> but you did counter something cool, probably. Yeah. Krampus is going to cast Smilux Snowball oh Swarm. Uh-oh. That That's good. also very good. Oh, mm, yeah, maybe not. Maybe... Power word kill. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> which of these do I like Finger better? Finger of death. Let's see which of these I like pinky. better. He just got counterspelled, so he's not super excited about that. He can make a bunch of snowballs. It's a fun one. If it kills you, then your soul is destroyed. Mm. And you can't Instead, be yeah. he's going to cast Sleet Storm. That just kills you if you have less than 100 hit points. Sleet Storm? <laughs> Maybe that's what I was thinking. Was it a power word kill? Oh, crap. It's going to cover that area. Until the spell ends, actually, who is the person that just cast this? That was me. That was you back here? Yeah. So it'll cover you as well, Chris. So this is where the, there is a Sleet Storm that appears. Uh, freezing rain and sleet fall on that area. Um, the ground is covered with slick ice, making it difficult to rain, which includes the walls and the ceiling. So mm. the whole place is covered in sleet. You still get the bonus, but it counts as difficult to rain. Right. Um, when a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn, 
you have to make a dex saving, saving throw. On a failed save, you fall prone. If you fall, you fall from the wall. Uh, if a creature is concentrating on in, if a creature is concentrating on a, in the spell's area, the creature has to succeed on a Constitution saving throw, or you lose concentration. All right, let me do that right now because I still have, yeah, I still have my flock of familiars. Out. Right, you are on the wall. Oh you yeah, you have familiars all floor. around. Yep. Yeah. Well, they're um, all they're all off. I can pop cool, them back cool, cool. later. Oh okay. Uh, yeah, I save on the. I keep my spell. Okay. Here's your familiars. We'll make little mice. These are not rerolls. These are familiars. Okay. Okay. If you want them anywhere, feel free. Don't eat your rats. Um, and that's going to, and then Krampus six. is in in range with you, huh? Both of us. Yeah. Uh, so that'll just end his turn. Uh, and then it's going to be um, the doctor's turn. Okay. Um, uh, this. Oil usage is taking far too long, so I'm gonna cast. No, the uh, the oil is now consumed. It's all gone after two beans. No, no, no. You so you haven't lit it yet. No, no. Yeah, right. I split. I have to get all, all around the building. I can't just do two sections of it. Sure. So I'm gonna cast Unseen Servant to oh, do okay. that okay. for me. Sounds great. Uh, <laughs> I've made this spell actually be Seen Servant because I don't want it to be invisible. Okay. And it looks like a tiny. Dumb Jace Bellerin. Because <laughs> okay. screw Jace Bellerin. <laughs> yep. Because he's never around. He's so never around. That. Perfect. I am casting a spell though. Okay. So that triggers wild magic. What it does. And it's this is a spell above cantrip? This is uh this is uh yeah, a first level spell. Yes. So roll your wild magic search. Okie dokie. This one. And the oh god. You say I got that? 80. When you say that's a Jacian Serpent? <laughs> um, I would say that. Illusory butterflies and flower petals flutter in the air within 10 feet of you for the next minute. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at me! So you, you've got that. No, who's God? It's me! Uh, I will say that the unicorn, by the way, acts on the same initiative, initiative as the gobbos. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, I, I think, I don't know if I want to move. Is anybody hurt? Where are you? Are you right next to me? I feel I like you're right so. next to me. Yes. You, uh, I am very hurt. She's here. But she's in that sleep. You're here, but you in the sleep. It's difficult to rain, but you can still see her. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna get as close as possible without getting into that sleep storm. Okay. Because I can't see myself, so I don't know how far that is. It's just a little bit. You're fine. Okay. You can get within probably ten feet. Okay. If you want to? Cool. I can't cast any more spells. I just need to get closer. I can heal her next turn. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming, Chris. Just uh, uh, it's going to be the crawls turn. Uh, the crawls are up on the walls. Crawls walls. And from the walls, <laughs> they are going to throw their spears. Yeah. Um. This one's going to throw the spear at at the doctor. 11 plus 4, 15. Nope. Okay. Uh, this one is going to throw at the doctor. 13 plus 4 is 17. Yeah, you got me. Okay, that uh, one's going to hit. Yeah. Uh, unicorn. Because I put a unicorn on here. You it did. has legendary actions. Okay. What? It is going to use. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going to interrupt, and it's going to use two of those to do shimmering shield. <gasps> You're within 60 feet. Yeah. You get two extra AC until the end of. Until the unicorn That's turn. Enough. <laughs> Yay, unicorn! Our new best friend. Uh, these two are gonna fire at goblins. Okay. Oh yeah. Sixteen on the dice. Yeah. No. And a natural one. Okay. Um. So one of the goblins is going to take some damage. Five plus two. Dead. Seven damage. That one's dead. That one's dead. I get to eat this one. <laughs> As the crawl warrior takes out one of the goblins summoned out of the goblin boom keg. You oh. monster! And it doesn't so much die. There's no body that remains behind. It sort of just sucks back into the ether. Aww. You monster. To be returned in 15 days. <laughs> uh, it is now the gobbos and the unicorns turn. I think the unicorn... Her name is Miranda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a good name. Miranda, yeah. please. Yeah. Miranda. 
Miranda. Yeah. Kagabos have. Oh, oh it's your, the yeah, they have Mumu. Um, yeah, that's exactly where they're going. Yeah. They're coming in and they're gonna hit my hit my boo my, mm -hmm. my boo. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Oh, that's cocked. Yep, that one's cocked. <laughs> and it's a one. None of them. Oh hit. no! <laughs> None of them. Uh, but they're my backup. Miranda is gonna use her once per day action to teleport me or her and uh, up to three willing creatures within five feet of it, which is me. Which is you. Uh, anywhere within a mile. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but we're just gonna go right behind Krampus. <laughs> and me on the far further away. Yeah. So I'm not like in melee. Sure. You're up on the throne, yep. and the, they're behind as well. Yep. Okay. And then I'll use the last her last legendary action to uh, to just make a hoof attack. Okay. Which is at the end of the Gabo's turn. Yes. Cool. Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen hits. And that is uh, uh twelve. Okay. Da uh, bludgeoning damage, and it is considered magical. Okay, sounds good. Krampus uh, is going to use his Birch Switch legendary action. Uh, and is going to swing at Agabo. Uh, 15 to hit mm -hmm. Agabo. Mm -hmm. Sorry, 17 to hit Agabo, which is fine. It's not hard to hit him. Um, <laughs> and I need to roll... D4. So there's a dreidel. That's a nun. So it's two plus five, seven slashing damage. It's a dead combo. <gasps> and so that one's also gone. No. So that'll be Krampus's legendary action. The gobos and the unicorn have all gone. Uh, Fizzle and Kriz, top of the round. All right. Uh, Fizzle, what am you I see. Krampus, dressed in the Santa hat, dressed in the coat, but a goat man underneath, black, oily fur, long, spindly fingers. You can tell that he is taking a lot of the power that he has from these insane magical artifacts. He still holds the list in his hand. All right, uh, can I use Mage Hand to try to take the, 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 the list The list? Him? Sure. Make a um also uh, wild magic because of me change. Ah yes. Oh no, it's a cantrip. Never it's a cantrip, yeah. So go ahead and make a uh I guess this would be a sleight of hand check. Alright. Right. Which you can use your arcana bonus for, I think. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the, yeah. Sure. Great. Oh, that's a seven. I rolled a twelve. So yeah. I'm gonna hold on to the list for now. Yeah. Chris? Um, I'm gonna try to. Oh, are you done? And then I will just disengage and move back a little bit further away. So I'm out of, out of range. I'm up on the, the this side. one. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna get it further away from him. Do you want to hide in the gifts? What do you want to sure. do? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Thorny is still there. I forgot to make Thorny go. Oh well. He fell asleep. Yeah. We'll put we'll put Sleeper Thorny. Bush. We'll put Thorny <laughs> right here. Uh, can I try to get out of the little sweet area? Sure. Do I need to make a roll? Make a dexterity or check. Yeah, you're oh, good. I'm good. Where do you want to go? I slide. Um, I'll I'll stand next to Doc. Okay. And then I'm gonna shoot the one on the uh, on the wall. wall. Okay. Or should I shoot the Krampus at this point? Do what you want. I can, do um, I get a sneak attack when I shoot the Krampus? Yeah, because he, he's got so many people on. I'm him. gonna shoot that then. Okay. That is a natural 20. Oh, very nice. Yeah, and I get sneak attack. Yeah, yeah, sneak, get sneak so you, attack. Get to, you get to double all the dice damage, which includes the uh, the sneak attack damage. Yeah, so that's six dice six. Jesus. So six dice? On, six on six Krampus? Six. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeepers. Did you want to have two more dice? Yeah, here you go. Is she the, the Chris that ruined Christmas? Yeah. It's Christmas now, baby. Christmas. So that's five, uh, ten, twenty. Plus your modifier. Plus six, twenty. Oh, four. Twenty-four. Chris, hmm. as you 
you find exactly the right spot in Krampus's defenses. And right at the base of the neck, in between the hat and the coat, you find your Christmas miracle, your Christmas miracle. <sighs> Describe to me how you dispatch of Krampus. Oh, oh God. Um, <laughs> I take my lucky dagger. Oh God, that's so much sugar. I know, it's <laughs> not, you don't have to eat all of it. You have to eat, you don't have to eat, Krampus. you don't have to eat it. It's Pretend funny. it's his heart. Yeah. <laughs> I take my uh, lucky dagger uh -huh. and I aim it right up with him. And I notice like a sh shiny little thing glimmering on his neck. And I line up with that. And as soon as I go to throw it, I kind of get distracted. I'm like, huh? <laughs> I let go. And Perfect. And <laughs> the, b the bolt, slow motion through the air, hits exactly where you mean it to. The sleet storm dissipates. And the demon itself begins to sort of wave and melt and collapse in on itself. And all that's left is a pile of ash and soot and a jacket and a hat and a list. Get the list. Get the list. list. Okay. You still have enemies. Yes, we do. To fight against. Yep. Uh, that was Chris's turn. Mm. It's now going to be the Thorny's turn. He must have been CMC three or less. <laughs> he was dispelled with that ritual of soot. <laughs> <laughs> Good reference for all the magic folks. Thorny is going to take its turn because it was lazy. Thorny is going to bite at the wizard. Uh oh. He's even present. Nineteen. <laughs> Wizards are allergic to bites. Nineteen. Oh. Um. It had. Do I? Has it come? It came back around to me. I'm gonna um uh shield. Shield. Okay, and that prevents the 19? Yep, because it brings me up to 20. Cool, cool, cool. And wild magic. And wild magic. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, wild magic. Yeah. Let's get wild, baby. Yeah. Unless you blow up, then don't. Don't do that. 50. 50? Five, five, zero. Five, zero. You can't speak for the next minute. <gasps> Whenever you try, pink bubbles float out of your mouth. <laughs> so if you have anything that has verbal components, let me know. Oh no, that's pretty bad. Like that is really bad. Every spell is verbal. Yeah. Lit. All right. Um, Fortunately, he has a flamethrower. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to come over to where the, pre the other guy is. Uh, to this? No, to, to whoever's thorny? attacking. Yeah, thorny. thorny. You got the Thorny? I'm going to go over to Thorny. Um, okay, and you can be you can get in uh, flanking. With yeah. It. Okay. Um, and he's gonna take my aura damage, and then I'm gonna hit him with my axe. Great. Chopping wood with your axe. All righty, that's so good. Um, so that was a 16, I just moved when I did that. Um, 16 plus seven to hit. Uh, that is max damage. Jeepers. So that's Ooh. 17 damage Jeez. plus five. Jeez. 22. Wow. I math. Yes. Yeah. Because that... I'm raging and it's lit. <laughs> yes. I, I only have one spell that does not use removal components. Is it a good one? <laughs> Absorb elements. That's not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good one at all. Uh, yeah, That's you... Okay. <laughs> I mean, this axe... Axes were designed to chop wood. Yes. Thorny is a plant being, and you are able to take a big old slice out of this moss dog. Um, and so it looks pretty bad. It's made, and of, it's made of splinters. Can I, just for funsies, um, can I do Fury of the Small? Sure. Yeah. Plus three, three. To, the, yeah, to the damage. Right on Death's Door. Did you do your Storm Herald damage? Yes, I added that in there. Okay, it is, yeah. It knock, does not knock, have, knock does not have many hit points left. <laughs> um... So that was Lit's turn. Snot. Uh, Stampal's going to try and bite that, that, that moss dog. <laughs> the moss dog. Uh, that's uh, not going to be great. The 10. So 10 does not hit. We're going to use that last one. Eat that last no, 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 one. No, no, no. That's going to be a 16. That one hits. All right. Roll for damage. So the first, it, it has to make a constitution save. 
nine plus one. Ten. It fails. Okay. So it takes three bite damage, uh, as well as uh, as well as ten poison damage. Jeez, <laughs> way more than you needed. And as it hey. doesn't die, it's reduced to zero. Oh, it's, it's uh, it is paralyzed and poisoned. Great. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it doesn't die. It is now going to be upside down there to, to signify and that it is paralyzed and, and poisoned. And, and webbing just so, as a, so how about this? You can say that you can take this one home. Yeah. There you go. You don't have to eat that I'll one right save now. Save it for later. Yeah, save, <laughs> save that one for later. <laughs> it's so creepy. It's a little, it's a little <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna hang out with him. Right. It would be Krampus's turn, and we, we, we didn't again. unlock the thing that I needed to bring him back. So it'll be the doctor's turn. Okay. Uh, is anybody hurt other than uh, Chris here? I'm a little bit, but I'm fine. Okay. The fact that you all had dark vision was a little interesting. I didn't uh, <laughs> foresee that. As goblins. As goblins. As goblins. As goblins yeah. I just forgot about it. I also, as a spider, I have blind sight. So. Oh, sure. <laughs> That's why I was like, yeah, sure, I'll ride you back. <laughs> I just forgot about it. I guess I should heal you. So I'm going to do that. You also see about the room uh, milk and cookies. Mm. Well, like, where about? Just around. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast Cure Wounds as a second level spell. Great. To heal my friend here. Mm -hmm. Yay. So magic cookies. Uh, mischief happens. Mm -hmm. Let's do that real quick, so just to make sure I don't... And it's a touch spell, well, sorry. This might blow us both over. up. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. What does that say? 60? 60. Yeah, 60. Yes, 60. Uh, you heal me for 60? You, no. yeah. So you uh, heal some amount of damage uh -huh. while you also feel a Christmas miracle happen as you <gasps> regain your lowest level expended spell slot. Oh. What? Hell yeah. All right, sweet. Okay, great. Uh, and you also heal from some cure wounds damage. Eat. Sweet. Okay. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to tell my servant to... Uh, I think it depends on... Light the fire. All right. Uh, That's something they can just do. Sure. Your, your, uh, your servant starts lighting up all of the, uh, all of the <laughs> around. <laughs> it's lit! It's lit! <laughs> <laughs> As the building begins to catch fire with oh these gosh. little lights. <laughs> Wait, why are we here? I don't know. Fire. We're here for fire, right? Krampus. Krampus. Guild. DA plus his spellcasting. Christmas! Is that third one kill or guild? Guild. Kill? The yep. list is made of paper, so. Well, well my mage hand was there. Can it grab oh, it? yeah, your mage hand grabbed it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Now we just go. I'm going to move towards the milk and cookies. Okay. But I assume I can't do anything this turn. Sure, that's fine. Okay. Um, so that was Doctor's turn. It's not going to be the bug's turns. Um, no, this cause, one, cause they're all going to jump down off the wall. Oh, yeah. Because now it's on fire. So this one will move along. And these two are going to close the door. Hmm. So those two will close the door try to, lock us in. to try to lock you in. This one will come. Oh yeah, come to me. This one will come at the spider, actually, because the spider's right there. Oh, hold on. Oh no, almost. Awesome. Sweet. Uh, nine. Uh, that actually misses. Business. Okay, nine will miss. Uh, it's now the gobbos and the unicorn. I just got one gobble left. The unicorn will move at that to crawl, and will do a multi attack. Jeepers. One with its hooves and one with its horn. Unicorn kind of blew this out. <laughs> the hooves is a 12, which uh -huh. misses on the my nose. Uh, yeah. And also a 12 what? on the horn. Both miss. Yep. Uh, on the thorny. Gabo. Or on the, yeah. Uh, it's going to go over to that bug man. Mm hmm. And just try to hit him. Ooh, okay. Hits. Yep, and that's um, three damage. <laughs> three oh. damage. Three damage. Uh, sorry, this one is on the wrong side of the fence for some uh, reason. It fell over. Yeah, it fell over. So he's over here as well. Uh, and this one will actually attack Kriz. Since I'm here, 
Eight on the dice, not gonna work. Okay, uh, so the goblins and the unicorn went top of the round, Fizzle and Chris. How does this fire work, by the way? Yeah. So it's it starts catching the building on fire. Okay. Okay. I am going to move uh move up to the the Santa hat and stuff, like uh-huh. right in front of it, yep. and like reach out with one hand, just like grab it as I'm moving past it. Okay. Does anything, but then I will um, use. Oh no, I don't have it. You have it. I have it. I was like, I'm gonna use the. <laughs> I went to go like look, and I'm like, I'm holding the goober. <laughs> I can't even say anything. It's just bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> oh, all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're over by the items. I'll pick them up. <gasps> That's what all of Santa's items do, and I will just put it on. Okay. <laughs> they do require attunement. Yeah. So you're wearing all of Santa's accoutrements and holding the list. And you're so small. <laughs> and just like a um, baggy <laughs> outfit. Chris? You're still in my style. How fast is this fire, the fire going? Not very funny? fast. Um, it just more seems to be, I mean, it's catching, but it more seems to be uh, browning the gingerbread. Okay. It smells nice in here. Mm. It smells dangerous, but it smells nice. Mm-hmm. What do we have? I'm trying to say things to you guys, but it's just coming from bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> I am too, but it's just chittering. <laughs> just, no, there's like just bubbles everywhere. Like I'm actually like just trying right. to... <laughs> I like the new you. It's fun. It's cute. <laughs> All right, so we have the list. We got rid of Krampus. Um, Fire's guild. going. Fire's going great. Guild. Guild. I'm going to... Shiny. Shiny! And activate my cantrip. Okay. And yeah. you're looking for the shiniest object. Yes. Okay. And 30 um, feet. Within 30 feet of you. Um, there are some gifts under the tree. Um, technically, the shiniest object is the fire. Oh my. Uh, <laughs> Dive into the fire. No. <laughs> I would say the gifts under the tree. Mm, okay. I'll make my way over there then. Okay. Uh, this one will get an attack of opportunity on you. Um, you can get this far without it taking its attack of opportunity. Mm. Bonus action disengage. Yeah, I'll bonus action. Okay. Action disengage. So you're over with the gifts. All right. Sounds good. And then, can I still attack something or no? Sure. What's near me? What's near you? There's a, a crawl right next to the... There was yeah. a crawl available. Then you'd be flanking with the unicorn. Okay, I'll do that then. And the gobble. And the gobble. And the spider. And the spider. <laughs> sure. <laughs> just so roll an attack. And the ghost of Krampus. Nope. Okay. Three. Um, The thorny would go here, but it's dead. Well, it's it's, it's, be, it's being saved for later. <laughs> it's being saved for later, exactly. <laughs> um, At this moment, uh, since we have ticked the clock over to 11 p.m. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, as if... Through a gap in the multiverse, a portal opens, um, and you hear jingle bells and um, the sound of Christmas cheer as you see an old man, plump, full of joy, um, happy and content, sipping on a daiquiri, wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Bermuda shorts, uh, thigh-high white socks, and flip-flops. Uh. <laughs> what a lovely vacation! Why is everything on fire? <laughs> Who are you people? Uh, we're here to save Christmas, <laughs> clearly. Oh dear. Well, this certainly won't do, and he will wave his hand. The fire will swirl out. No! Oh. Can this, yeah. this doesn't take verbal. Can I get a counter spell? You can try to counter spell <laughs> Santa Claus. Santa Claus. <laughs> you can try to counter spell oh, Santa Claus. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. He's Roll literally time. casting wish. Yeah. That's all he casts every day is wish. That's a twenty-two. Oh. Twenty-two counters the spell. <laughs> and he he waves his hand and <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Your magic has no power here, oh. fat man! Who? What's happening here? 
Uh, all of the crawl, by the way, appear to be blinking out of their stupor. It seems as if the aura of Santa Claus has turned everyone good. His slaves are returning. <laughs> what Santa Claus? We're like goblins of Christmas past. And returned here and defeated the Krampus. <gasps> the Krampus? The <gasps> Krampus returned? The Krampus. Boop. Yeah. Oh dear. He's well, a pile of dirt over there. Boop, boop. Oh, well, you've defeated. <laughs> you've defeated the Krampus. Yeah. That's what I saw. Okay. Really not listening. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Well, yeah. well done, everyone. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I greatly appreciate that. So, if you could just make sure we're all on the good list. And he will uh, look over at Fizzle and say, "May I?" Have my list back, please. You're good. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> Has it been? <laughs> yes. It's been a yes, minute. Yes, you've all been very good. What? Has it been a minute? Uh, about. All right. bloop, bloop, bloop. Well, yeah. that's great and all. So thanks. What's your name, I don't? Oh, I go by many names. You can call me Nikki. Not the... That's rude. Is that my, that looks like my hat. And he will go over and pick up his hat. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> off your head. Off your head. <laughs> off your hat. Here, you can have, you can wear this one. And he gives you your vacation fishing hat. I don't know about that one. Yeah, Santa's kind of lame. <laughs> oh, oh, don't worry, children. I'm sure that... You'll find that, it, that I'm not quite so lame. Here, let me give you some gifts. And he will yes. go to the base of the tree <laughs> and he will walk up to... There we go. Minsticks. <laughs> we're not children, I'm 42. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all children at heart and I know you've always wanted this. And he will hand you a box. What's in the box? You'll What's have to open box? it to find <laughs> out. And he will hand boxes to everybody. Do you open it right now? Yeah! Uh, inside is a Lego Star Destroyer. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> if I was human, I'd love this! <laughs> I, I rip mine open. Mm -hmm. uh, inside of yours, of course, is a uh, a, a battle axe. A nice battle axe. <gasps> I put my hands on it, yep. and then I hold it up to my ear. <laughs> he he Hello? <gasps> Don't talk to me like that! Okay. Okay. We're good. Are we friends? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. And I check it. <laughs> ah! Just <laughs> oh. That's gonna be a great relationship, I'm sure. <laughs> um, anybody else open theirs? Me? Okay. Inside of yours, you find um, a small uh, bronze statue, a figurine, of a drake. Uh, as you hold it to your chest, you feel that it has some magical essence to it. Um, you feel that it's probably a figurine of wondrous power that can turn into a drake. Oh! Can I activate it? You can. I think you, I so think you, you activate it by seeing hot light and blink. <laughs> <laughs> you can activate it. Just kiss it. And <laughs> the drake I like the ah. <laughs> extends its wings. <gasps> and gives you a kiss on the cheek. Oh All right, burn it down. Burn everything down. Go, go, go. <laughs> um, Stump always you gets your... his presents, like, sort of like, he starts, like, turn back. Ah, ow. Okay. Oh, did I do it again? Oh, jeez. Oh, that's... Oh. You mummified a person. Oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Did you not know you did that? I mean... Uh... Okay. <laughs> I'm sure Sam will forgive that. Yeah. So you have a box. Okay. And you have a box. Oh, what's in here? You open your box. Uh, inside of it uh, is another uh, sort of, this one looks like it's iron. Huh. Maybe black, like dark iron, like Damascus, Damascus steel. Oh. Uh, and it's a small spider. Oh, what happened? That's cool. That's, oh, I dropped it. Oh. Yep. <laughs> and, it, and it grows into... <laughs> 
Oh, and it has a saddle on its back. Right <gasps> oh. <laughs> Yep, and you have a spider. Right. What do you name your Drake? Well, what do I name my Drake? And what do you name your spider? Think about that while we go over to Fizzle, who opens their box. Um, Inside name? is a small gold cup with handles on a pedestal. And on the pedestal, <laughs> it says, number one, Fizzle. And then underneath, in, in uh, etched as if by a claw, Niv Mizzet. Oh. <gasps> wow. Wow. It's mine. I, n- I <laughs> hope that's what you've always wanted. Now, if you don't mind, I'm sorry, I, can't I have understand. lots of business to attend to. So please, take this gift back to Dax for me, if you would, and he will hand you a box. Um, small box. And say, off you go then. Thank you for saving Christmas. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, 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 building's still on no. fire. <laughs> <laughs> and no, nobody needs that, that thing, right? <laughs> Come, Natasha, grab it, and let's go. <laughs> he took his, his cap back, but did he take his coat? Oh, yeah, he took everything. Aww. That coat's really good. Everything. everything. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled his bag of holding and turned with a smirk. And laying a finger aside of his nose, gave a nod to his new goblin friends and up the chimney they rose, they sprang to the sleigh, to his team he gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. With the help of St. Nick, you all get back to the landing where you were sent off. Dax is there to meet you when you return, having saved Christmas. Kringle thanked you all, I gave you all a little gift. Um, and you return, you deliver Dax's gift. Approval. Edu is there. (laughs) Oh my! You're all covered in gross. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, the usual. I didn't mummify anyone or nothing. You brought it back. (laughs) Why'd you bring it back? Oh, of course. Plenty of room in that trunk. (laughs) Dax will take her gift and open it. It's a Lego Star Destroyer. And it will (laughs) it has a new a new jar of pickled onions. (gasps) Oh, okay, I don't want that. (laughs) Oh my favorite! (laughs) And they heard them exclaim as they drove out of sight. Merry Merry Christmas Christmas to to all, all. and to all a good night. And that will end our Christmas one shot. I'd like to thank uh, all of you Secret Santas in chat for this lovely game. Um, I hope you all had fun. Oh, yes. Um, Yay! Yay. Thank you, Insane42, for the bits. Very, very appreciated. Um, didn't reach all of our, all of our hidden goals, but, uh, don't worry about that. Um, and, we didn't know uh, and I had, were, so it doesn't matter to us. I'm sorry? I said we, we didn't, didn't know. know. No, of course. Yeah. yeah. I think that, uh, I think that it was perfect. Oh, yes. So thank you all so much for, uh, for, for joining us and, uh, have a lovely holiday season. Uh, let everybody know where they can follow you and what things you have coming up and all that good stuff. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm Poizel. You can follow me on Twitter at uh, apoizel, or you can follow me on twitch.tv slash poizel. I play some Magic the Gathering Arena and some other games and just talk about life. Uh, The next thing I am doing is I'm going to be here Saturday 
with Grav painting some miniatures. So tune in for that. Um, outside of that, you can usually find what I'm doing if you follow the Uncommon Trust on Twitter. Uh, also, you should sign up uh, for the mailing list at dndinacastle.com. Yeah. I'm involved in some really cool things this summer. We're going to be announcing some other things, some one-day events coming up. Uh, so get on that mailing list and so you can be aware of what's happening. Get that announced before anybody else hears it. So cool beans yeah. uh, hey guys I just realized the camera's over there uh, <laughs> this is cute. I'm Lady Danger I, re- I figured it like half uh, thank you yep. uh, I'm Lady Danger um, I, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Lady Danger I stream uh, Magic the Gathering Arena every day um, pretty much Monday through Friday and I also just started doing some uh, late night uh, Magic the Gathering lore book reading. So if you're into like a little ASMR book lore magic nerddom, uh, you can find me on Monday and Wednesday nights doing that. Um, You can find me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Uh, If you just search Lady Danger, it's L-A-D-E-E because that makes a Y sound. Uh, (laughs) And then just Danger. And uh, yeah, follow me on my socials to find out where you can find me next because sometimes I don't even know. (laughs) Uh, Hey everybody, I'm Garav and you can catch me on all socials at double GXG. It's the word double then GXG. Um, You can catch me on Saving Throw uh, on a bunch of shows that we're doing. And the next thing we're doing is Saturday, like Poisel mentioned, uh, we're going to be painting miniatures with Iron Tusk Miniatures, who uh, has been on the channel many times and has painted a bunch of the stuff you've seen in in our backdrops and our games. And um, we will be painting uh, holiday stuff this uh, Saturday at 2 p.m. So tune in, listen to Christmas music, and have some hot apple cider, and uh, paint some minis. Paint your minis while we paint ours. We'll just have a nice chat. It'll be fun. And you're just going to be there. I'm excited. Oh. Yes. I want to paint you. Hey everyone, I'm Ashlyn. You can find me on Twitter at Ashlyn Rose. Uh, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Ashlyn underscore Rose, uh, where I also stream a ton of arena. Um, I'm also doing a special new cosplay stream starting this Friday um, called Popper Cosplay, where we make cosplay on a budget themed after magic cards. Oh, cool. Thank you, Insane42, for the yeah. donation. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. So uh, we'll be doing that uh, this Friday starting at 10 a.m. So see you there. And uh, you can catch me on Twitch uh, doing variety games at mostly Eric, uh, or you can catch me on the social medias at mostly shit. And I will be <laughs> painting mini Saturday, and uh, I will be back on our Wednesday night uh, D&D show, Iron Keep Chronicles, when that comes back in the new year at some point. Yes. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. <laughs> I'm the Internet's Ruben Bressler. Can't see you. you can find... Invisibility. <laughs> you can find me on most social media channels at M O X R E U B Y. Also, catch up with me on Wednesday nights for Magic Mike's M I C S. Thank you for uh, thank you to honorable mention for the sub. Thank you for to A Pleath TV for the sub. This is some gifts. Oh, yeah, oh these nice. are a bunch of gifts. Yeah. Okay, J- who did Meyer that? J-R. Don, who did that? Very nice. Yeah, Thank you. Honorable. Who did this? Insane 42. Insane 42. Insane 42. Yeah. Gifted a bunch of subs. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Awesome. Much appreciated. Honorable mention, A. Pleath, Henry, the Taswell, and J.P. Meyer Jr. Uh, welcome to the channel. The Hope you stick around. The are gone now. They, they disappeared, oh, yeah. but I lost concentration, so I ate them. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Um, uh, you should catch up with The Broken Pact, the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica show here on twitch.tv slash saving throw show and twitch.tv slash D&D, the first 10 episodes of which are available on the Saving Throw Show YouTube channel. Um, and uh, maybe there will be another season. Uh, this is sort of it's the unofficial uh, 11th episode, <laughs> sort of a in-the-same-world uh, we didn't get to the $800 level because that was the highest tier. That was the stretch goal, which one. meant that everything in this episode would have been canon, which means that Mookie would be alive as a Christmas tree. That's wild. Um, That's which would have been a lot. Um, but I greatly appreciate you guys all coming and hanging out. Please have a wonderful holiday season. Uh, there are a couple more things happening on Saving Throw before the end of the year, yes? Other than, I mean, there is the painting stream. Which yeah. is mm-hmm. on a Saturday, at Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, and Friday at uh, 8 p.m. is the Savage Worlds Holiday Special. Yes, oh. right. Another holiday special. Savage yeah. Worlds Holiday Special. Yeah. Anything else before then? So to come back uh, Saturday for the Friday. Savage Worlds Holiday Special. Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday for the Savage Worlds Painting Holiday Pop. Special. Saturday for the painting stream. Tune in to uh, Ashlyn and Lady Danger. Uh, all of the things. Thank you so much for joining us. 
happy holidays, happy new year, and we'll see you in 2019. Yes. Have a merry is it miss everybody. Bye. Merry is it miss. Bye. Thank you.